Welcome to the Fantasy Audiobook. The End of the World. Necromancer, Awakening SSS Level Talent at the Beginning. Chapter 61. Song Yuhan is a pure-looking girl, and she is quite tall. At first glance, she looks cool and a good student. No strangers, please stay away. Don't make trouble for yourself. Now, she has the ability to control the ice element. Invisibly, she has added a bit of cool temperament to her body. She looks more beautiful and noble. However, her real personality is not so cool, but she is very shy. This contrast between the outside and the inside. It makes her inexplicably attractive, making people want to conquer her. Hit her hard, make her cry, make her scream without words. Dispel some strange ideas and continue the current combat mission. Chen Mo walked to the dead Wang Shui and prepared to perform the resurrection procedure. Although your most precious soul is gone, your body is still good and cannot be wasted. I will use the ordinary zombie souls I collected along the way to revive you. Cover Wang Shui's body with the soul essence. A little design. After a while, the dead Wang Shui stood up again. Thank you for the master's blessing. The frost witch is at your service. At this moment, there is no Wang Shui in the world anymore. Instead, there is a sea level frost witch. Frost undead can also freely control the ice element. Equipped with ice skills such as ice arrows, rapid freezing, frost ice armor, etc. Well, it's still pretty good. Originally, Chen Mo thought that the most important awakened soul had been lost, and this wave of undead revival should not have a very good effect. But now it seems that the body of Wang Shui's awakener also contains frost power. This frost power, combined with Chen Mo's purified soul essence, eventually created a C-level frost witch. The harvest is still very good. In the future, you will also follow me and serve as a long-range fire output. By the way, use the frost power to control the enemy, slow down, freeze, etc. The frost witch saluted respectfully, yes, master. So far, the main teaching building of the agricultural college has been cleaned up, and Chen Mo's most important 100-acre experimental field has also been obtained. The next thing to deal with now is the bear warrior Zhang Shu. According to the information obtained before, Zhang Shu was repelled by Wang Shui last night and fled to the experimental forest behind the agricultural college to hide. Then let's search the back mountain first. Chen Mo immediately ordered, Bone Hunter, you lead the team to search the mountain. And circle tightly, search carefully. Don't be slow, but be serious. Bone Hunter. Yes, I will arrange it now. After arranging the tasks of the Undead Legion, Chen Mo himself was also ready to lead the team into the back mountain of the Agricultural College. Let's go, Teacher Lin, let's go up the mountain to have a look. Oh, yes, wait for me to make you a set of frost armor first, to enhance your defense. As he said, Chen Mo used the ice power he had just obtained to make a set of close-fitting frost armor for Lin Shi. Covering Lin's eyes chest and abdomen, thighs and arms. Well, the emperor's new clothes are pretty good. Unfortunately, there is still ordinary clothes inside. If this extra part can be removed. He he he, it feels very good. Looking at the frost armor on her body, Lin Shi wondered, this suit is quite amazing. It's not stiff at all, and it can stretch freely with my movements. It's just like wearing a set of yoga clothes. It's light and fits well. And I don't feel cold, it's amazing. But will it melt? After all, it's ice. Chen Mo waved his hand and smiled. Don't worry, this is not ordinary ice. With the blessing of my supernatural power, it will definitely not melt. Lin Shi nodded and smiled. Okay, then I'm relieved. Afterwards, Chen Mo also made a set of frost armor for Song Yuhan. After all, her current ice supernatural power level is too low. Although she can also make ice armor, the effect is far less than Chen Mo's. She also received Chen Mo's exclusive favor. Song Yuhan was very happy. Thank you, Brother Mo, I like this ice armor so much. Hey, I suddenly thought of it. However, why don't you make ice armor for all the skeleton warriors? This thing has super strong defense. Listening to Song Yuhan's suggestion. Chen Mo touched his chin and said with a smile, well, it's possible. Equipping all the skeleton warriors with ice armor is also a C-level defense equipment for them. But there is a small problem. Song Yuhan and Lin Shi both asked puzzledly, what's the problem? 
This is, isn't it a very good and perfect solution? Chen Mo smiled and said, don't you think about it? There are so many skeleton warriors. How can I handle them? It's not difficult to build 10 or 8 sets, and it doesn't take too much time and energy. But how long will it take to build them in batches according to the factory assembly line model? How much mental energy will I consume? Besides, I am a necromancer. It's too wasteful and too low level to do such repetitive and low level work. I thought about it. Ordinary skeleton warriors are not worthy of such good armor. Lu Bi Yu riding a dog is really not suitable. At most, I can build them for the undead mystic and the headless juggler. Okay, that's it. In the future, only high-powered fragile mages and important people around them will be worthy of the frost armor made exclusively by Chen Mo. This is not only for safety considerations, but also a reward. It can highlight their noble and special status. From this, other undead servants and human subordinates can be inspired to work hard. Do more meritorious deeds in exchange for rewards. Hey, wait a minute. Brother Mo, I have another suggestion. Song Yuhan raised her hand again and said, I can do this. Your frost armor is advanced, so there is really no need to flood the rewards. You are in a noble position, and you don't have time or need to do such low-level work. But I can also make ice armor now. Although it is a bit low-level, it is just enough for the skeleton warriors. I think it can still improve their defense. I don't mind being tired. I have plenty of time, I will make it for them. Hiss. It's a bit interesting. This is a good suggestion. Chen Mo thought of the future scene at a glance. All the skeleton warriors under his command are equipped with frost armor. They can resist and fight. They are all elite warriors. Okay, I'll leave this to you. You can also bring the frost witch with you. Every time I make a set of frost armor, the credit will go to you. Chen Mo said with a smile. Good girl, you are a person with ideas. You are very proactive and smart, I like you. Song Yuhan was also very happy to receive the praise. Hee <laughs> hee, as long as I can do something for you, brother Mo, I will be very happy. Watching Chen Mo and Song Yuhan finalize the plan to mass produce the frost armor. Lin Shi smiled and was very happy. If all the undead warriors can be equipped with protective gear, it would be like putting armor on ordinary people, and the combat effectiveness would be greatly improved. At that time, Mozi will be more efficient in cleaning and conquering. From ancient times to the present, it is not a crime to privately keep swords and knives. But privately keeping crossbows and armor is a crime that can lead to the death of the head and extermination of the clan. Because these two things are real weapons of war, and they are too powerful to equip. What are you hiding for? It must be a rebellion. Lin Shi was happy for Chen Mo, but she felt a little sour in her heart. Song Yuhan came a day later than me, and now she has her own business. In the future, I will do meritorious service for Mozi. Alas, what about me? How can I do meritorious service? As a holy light priest, he mainly treats and rescues. Could it be that Lin Shi had to wait for Chen Mo to get hurt before treating him? This was unreasonable, because Lin Shi didn't want to see Chen Mo get hurt at all, she was already too distressed to care for him. But if Chen Mo wasn't hurt, how could she, a holy light priest, play a role and make contributions? Isn't this a closed loop of contradictions, a dead end? It's really hard to deal with. Looking at Lin Zai's changing expression, Chen Mo basically guessed what she was thinking, and said with a smile, Teacher Lin, don't think too much. You are a late-stage hero, and you don't need to exert your strength right now. Look over there, pointing to the 100-acre experimental field of the agricultural college in front of him, Chen Mo said, after last night's acid rain irrigation, this land has been completely polluted and no crops can be grown anymore. And if we want to restore the vitality of the land, we have to rely on you, the holy light priest, to take action. You master the power of holy light and can dispel negative effects. Tell me, isn't this very useful, a great achievement? Moreover, the materials and important mechanical equipment collected in the future will probably be polluted. At that time, you still have to purify them. Purification. Before, Chen Mo was anxious to save Lin Shi because he saw this important ability of hers. It is crucial for the future establishment of a base. Hearing this, Lin Zai's eyes lit up. Then I will purify it now and restore all the experimental fields to cleanliness. She really wanted to make a contribution. 
Chen Mo smiled and stopped her, saying, don't worry. Once it gets dark, it will rain acid. What's the point of purifying now? Besides, the day after tomorrow, the toxic black fog will cover the whole world. That thing is more toxic than acid rain. So, wait a little longer. When the toxic fog dissipates and the greenhouse here is built, you, Teacher Lin, will definitely evolve again and master a higher level of holy light power. Everything is ready, it's up to you. Listening to Chen Mo's plan for him. Lin Shi smiled and stopped thinking about it. He still cares about me. Okay, I'll listen to you. I'll do whatever you tell me to do. Be clear about the future arrangements. Chen Mo led the team and officially headed for the back mountain of the agricultural college. As long as we kill the bear warrior Zhang Shu, all the tasks for today will be perfectly completed. Enter the forest, look and search along the way. Chen Mo and others had just reached the halfway point of the mountain. The skeleton warriors who had been sent out to search the mountain earlier came to report the situation. Report to the master, the tide hunter commander found a large bloodstain ahead. It is suspected to be the remains of the beast hunted by the bear warrior. Chen Mo, lead the way, let's go and have a look. The skeleton warrior led the way, and everyone came to the place where the clue was found. Looking down, sure enough, there were large bloodstains left. And the amount was really large. It was everywhere, and there were bloodstains for dozens of meters around. Song Yuhan covered her mouth and said in disgust, E.H., what a strong fishy smell. This must be from an animal, right? Lin Shi, a doctor, nodded and said, judging from the quantity, it should be from a medium or large animal. If it is from a human, then there would be so many people killed together. However, my judgment is still biased towards animals. Because judging from the angle and height of the splash, this should not be left by a human. Song Yuhan nodded. So that's it. Medium or large animal. Ah, could it be from that Zhang Shu? Didn't they say that he can transform into a big brown bear with a huge body? Chen Mo nodded and said, It's possible, but the possibility is relatively small. After all, who can hurt him like this? If it really sprayed so much blood, it would probably have fallen nearby. In Chen Mo's mind, this blood is most likely left by the bear warrior Zhang Shu when he hunted and ate. As for the object of his hunting, it may be the experimental animals raised by the agricultural college. It is also possible, it is a human. All right, all right, there is no need to study in the void here. The blood stains have not dried yet, which means that the other party will not run too far. Bone Hunter, pass the order down, expand the search range, and track the direction of this blood stain. Yes, Master, the Bone Hunter replied, follow Chen Mo's order. Search the blood stains carefully. Sure enough, just a quarter of an hour later, the skeleton warriors under his command made a major discovery. Report to the master, we found that Zhang Shu. Oh, so fast, so precise. As Chen Mo led the team on the road, he asked, are you sure it's him? It's certain. Although he didn't transform into a bear, he was holding his prey and gnawing on it. He was eating it raw, skinning it alive, and it was covered in blood. The skeleton warrior explained. Okay, then it's certain that it's Zhang Shu. Ordinary people. Can't do this. Summon the undead legion and surround them all. Finally, Chen Mo and others found Zhang Shu in front of a sheltered cave. Just arrived. This Zhang Shu was still eating. Holding a horse with both hands, he buried his head in the horse's belly and ate non-stop. Don't say, his bite force is really amazing. Take a bite, then shake his head and tear it. Directly pull off the horse's internal organs, bones and flesh. Then, crunch crunch, directly chewed it up and swallowed it in one bite. This guy is simply a human-shaped beast. Too hideous. The entire head and face, and even the skin of the whole body, were stained with blood. If there were not some torn pieces of clothing and cloth left. It is really hard to tell that this is a person. Ah, it's too, too disgusting. Song Yuhan frowned and said, is this a lunatic? Eating a horse alive, it's crazy. And, and those white skeletons around him, they are not all what he left over. What are those? I came to the slaughterhouse. This is simply a hell on earth. Lin Shi frowned and said, chickens, ducks, geese, sheep, pigs, cows, and dogs. Judging from the skeletons and the remaining hair, they are these animals. Wait, that, is that a human skeleton? 
Lin Shi just said this. Song Yuhan suddenly screamed, Ah, there is a head, there is a head. Following the direction of Song Yuhan's finger, Chen Mo and Lin Shi also saw human heads. To be precise, it was a pile of human heads. The human heads were stacked together to form a small pyramid. This looked like a victory in ancient times, using the heads of the enemy to build a Jingguan to show off military exploits and intimidate the enemy. So, was it done by Zhang Shu? Why did he do this? Hey, Mozi, take a closer look. Lin Shi noticed something strange and reminded, there are notes on those people's heads. Dean Zhao Mingchang, small boss Chen Bo, dog tutor Wang Gehua. Dot dot quote, looking at their positions, they seem to be doctoral supervisors, master supervisors and senior administrative staff of the College of Agriculture. Chen Mo nodded and said, well, it should be. I remember the last life. That bear warrior Zhang Shu did not kill ordinary students wantonly, and his attitude was normal. However, he especially liked to kill those doctoral supervisors, master supervisors, and old professors. Once he caught these people, he would torture them severely and kill them in the end. Of course, Chen Mo had only heard about this information in his previous life and had never seen it with his own eyes. But now, looking at the Jingguan in front of him, which was made of the heads of mentors and professors. Chen Mo was also certain in his heart. The killing targets of this bear warrior Zhang Shu were regular and had clear purposes. But, why did he kill these professors and mentors? This is another new doubt. Just as Chen Mo and others were still observing this slaughterhouse and hell on earth. Zhang Shu, who was eating horse meat, also discovered the arrival of strangers. Pull the head out of the horse's belly. Zhang Shu, with a bloody face, looked at Chen Mo and others and asked vigilantly, I say, who are you? While asking questions, he did not stop chewing and swallowing. He still bit the horse's internal organs and swallowed them whole. My name is Chen Mo, and you are Zhang Shu. Do you know me? Zhang Shu stopped chewing and asked in confusion. At this moment, his eyes were like those of a wild beast. Scrutinizing, guarding, cunning. Chen Mo nodded and said, I just asked about your situation at the agricultural college at the foot of the mountain. Hearing this, Zhang Shu snorted coldly, Oh, asking about my situation. So, you want to kill me? To avenge these people? These people, of course, refer to the professors and college administrators who were beheaded by Zhang Shu. Chen Mo shook his head and smiled, I don't know them. But to be honest, I am really curious. Why do you want to kill them? And you built such a Jingguan on purpose. Do you have a grudge against them? Zhang Shu suddenly widened his eyes and roared, because they deserve to be killed. I have worked hard for so many years to study for a doctorate, why don't you let me graduate? As he said, he stood up, stretched out his hand to grab a head beside him, and explained viciously, this, my doctoral supervisor. I studied under him for seven years and was delayed four times. If the disaster hadn't suddenly come this year, he would have delayed my graduation. Am I not working hard? Bullshit. I have written so many papers and published so many papers, and I have never seen such a big problem. So many patents were snatched away by him. He gave them to his son and the female student he kept at the agricultural college. And himself. I wrote all his papers. So many highly cited papers, first zone papers, and top conference papers, all written by me. At first, he lied to me, and I foolishly believed him. Later, he pua me and threatened me, and I didn't dare to resist. Later, every time, I hoped it would be the last time. As long as I help him publish a paper and get a patent, he will let me graduate. Not only that, I also picked up his express delivery, helped him drive, and did housework for his family. I did everything, but I don't understand why he just won't let me graduate. Abandoning the head of his own doctoral supervisor. Zhang Shu picked up another one and grinned. This one, the graduation defense committee member, deliberately blocked my thesis and prevented me from graduating. Throw it down and picked up another one. This one, the dean of the college, blocked my scholarship and threatened to punish me and prevent me from graduating. My girlfriend was taken away by his son. I was doing experiments, and they were messing around in bed. In the end, I had to pay tribute to them with the thesis I wrote. This, this, this. Pick up the heads one by one and count the crimes. Zhang Shu had no fear or regret, only a face full of enjoyment and happiness. 
Obviously, he thought he was right to kill and killed well. Wait until all the heads were scattered on the ground. Zhang Shu turned his head suddenly to look at Chen Mo, laughed grimly, and asked grimly, You. You say, should they be killed? Why didn't they? Let me graduate, quote. Chen Mo curled his lips and said calmly, deserve to be killed. If I were in your situation, these people would have the same fate. Add, I will also extract their souls and burn them to light lamps. In this regard, you are not as good as me. As for why I don't let you graduate, I think you are too honest and too weak. People who are easy to bully, of course, must be kept and bullied all the time. What's more, you are very capable and can continue to create value for them. Hearing this, Zhang Shu closed his eyes, nodded and sighed, Yes, yes, I was too weak before. When I was bullied, I never resisted. Opened his eyes and looked straight at Chen Mo again. Zhang Shu asked again, Then please tell me again, why do I want to kill them all today? Answer well, otherwise, I will kill you too. Quote, Faced with the threat of death, Chen Mo didn't care. With a faint smile, he recited a poem, I see Guanyin Guanzi's eye, I see Jun Wu see the real me. Untie the old shackles of the past, today I know I am myself. You are not the same person as you were in the past. When the shackles are removed, people are demons. Chen Mo's voice fell, the whole audience was silent. Song Yuhan thought to herself, today I know I am myself. This sentence, is really accurate about this Zhang Shu. He is no longer the same as he was in the past. Lin Shi also sighed secretly. Alas, life is full of ups and downs, and it is difficult to distinguish between good and evil. Finally, back to Zhang Shu himself. After a long silence, he smiled gently and nodded. It's good that today I know I am myself. You hit the nail on the head. But, I hate people who analyze me. Quote, you, too, should be killed. As soon as the words fell, Zhang Shu attacked brazenly, grabbed the head at hand and smashed it with all his strength. Go to hell. Boom. The sound of cracking the air exploded. The head was like a cannonball, hitting Chen Mo at high speed. Under the huge force of this bear warrior, this is no longer an ordinary head. It is a kinetic cannonball with super high energy. Song Yuhan and Lin Shi were both shocked. Chen Mo, be careful. However, Chen Mo himself was calm and composed, his expression remained the same. He opened his mouth and shouted softly, Ice! Bang! A loud explosion sounded. Ice fragments flew all over the sky and turned into snow and mist. The head that Zhang Shu threw hard was blocked. Blocked by the ice shield erected by Chen Mo in the air. The head was firmly embedded in the ice shield, penetrating 30 or 40 centimeters. The skull was shattered and completely deformed. It can be seen that this kinetic shell is very powerful. At this moment, Zhang Shu's pupils shrank suddenly, and a huge sense of crisis rose in his heart. The Chen Mo in front of him is unfathomable. Your mentor's head. Give it back to you. Just when Zhang Shu was horrified, Chen Mo mobilized the ice element, and a frost whip condensed in his hand. The long whip circled the head, pulled an arc, and then was thrown out in the opposite direction. Bang! Another explosion sounded. The head hit Zhang Shu's chest firmly, knocking him and his body away. Ah! Cough! Cough! The huge impact force hit the mountain behind him, creating a big hole. Zhang Shu's chest roared, and he coughed up blood. It's terrible. This Chen Mo's casual counterattack almost killed me instantly. If I hadn't reacted in time and blocked my chest with both hands, this head shell would have directly blown my chest apart. Dodge him. One round ended. Zhang Shu was afraid, and he jumped with his legs, pulling away a long distance. Unfortunately, the skeleton warriors had gathered around him, and there was nowhere to run. What's your relationship with that Wang Shui? Hiding in a corner, with his back against the mountain, and bending over to prepare for defense, Zhang Shu shouted in fear, Wang Shui. Come out. Stop hiding, I know you're here too. HMPH, you found a man to besiege me, and you hid yourself to prepare for a sneak attack. Do you think I don't know? Tisk. Chen Mo grinned and said, don't be nervous. There's no Wang Shui. She's dead. Just now at the agricultural college, I killed her too. Pulling the frost witch Wang Shui next to him, Chen Mo smiled and said, Oh yes, look, is this her? Zhang Shu. Omega D Omega. Looking closely, he was dumbfounded. What did you do to her? 
How did she become like this? Chen Mo smacked his lips and said dissatisfiedly, Hey, how can you talk like that? Isn't my frost witch pretty? What do you mean by half human, half ghost? This is a spirit. So, do you want to become a spirit too? You will be immortal. Listening to Chen Mo's jokes, Zhang Xu was terrified. You're dreaming. Even if I die, I won't become your slave of the living dead. Ah, transform. After cursing angrily, he roared and shouted. Then, his whole body changed drastically. He rose on the spot, and his muscles swelled. Brown and black hair quickly covered his whole body. Zhang Xu in human form left the stage. At this moment, the bear warrior Zhang Xu joined the battle. Hiss. Song Yuhan gasped, staring in surprise. Can it really turn into a bear? Wow, it's really big. Lin Shi pursed her lips and nodded in agreement. It's really shocking to witness the whole process of transformation. A good person turned into a big brown bear in an instant. This shoulder height must be more than 4 meters, right? Natural bears and other beasts are not as good as it. Compared to the surprise of the two women, Chen Mo was much calmer. After all, he had seen this bear warrior with his own eyes in his previous life. However, he was just watching from a distance at that time, and the brown bear didn't look big enough. But now it's a close-range battle. I felt the pressure brought by the giant brown bear all of a sudden. It was like a wall, coming towards me. Very shocking. With a smile on his face, Chen Mo gave his judgment, this feeling is at least B-level. Moreover, it is probably stronger than the undead devourer I just revived. Shoot out the eye of Hades with a flick of his finger and check Zhang Shu's template details. Zhang Shu, Awakening Level, B, Bear Warrior. Strength, 1103. Agility, 205. Constitution, 980. Spirit, 238. Talent, 1. Devouring Flesh and Blood, B, Bear Warrior evolves by devouring flesh and blood. The more flesh and blood it devours, the stronger the original body, the faster the evolution speed, and the better the effect. Skills. 1. Transformation. B. Bear warrior can switch between human form and bear form. The human form has low strength and physical attributes, and balanced agility and mental attributes. The bear form greatly improves the strength and physical attributes, reduces the agility and mental attributes, and consumes more physical strength during combat. Point 2. Bear Paw Slap B. The Bear Warrior swings his paw to slap the enemy. 3. Standing Intimidation B. The Bear Warrior stands up straight, showing the majesty of the beast and intimidating the enemy. Equipment None. Combat Power Evaluation 135,000. Sure enough, Chen Mo's feeling and judgment were correct. The evolution level of this Bear Warrior Zhang Shu has reached the B level. The strength attribute is in the four digits, and the physical attribute is close to thousands. The combat power has exceeded the 100,000 mark. Not bad. Such a beast, after the resurrection of the undead, will definitely be powerful enough. And it's just right, it's suitable for me to use to test the combat power of the ice element control ability. I'm not in a hurry to kill the giant bear with the grip of Hades. Chen Mo also wants to see how his real combat power is after gaining the ice and fire abilities. Immediately, he ordered, Bone Hunter, you go to be a meat shield and fight him. Ah, Bone Hunter was a little confused, Master, I, I go. No, the opponent has a combat power of 100,000 plus, you want me to go. I know myself, I can't beat him. Good master, aren't you asking Ben Borba to kill Tang Sang and his disciples? Am I worthy? I'm not worthy. Chen Mo smiled and urged. What are you afraid of, a physical warrior? If your body is broken, I will revive you with soul fire. And I'm here, you take the damage, and I output. Hey, why didn't you say it earlier? Upon hearing this, the bone hunter immediately became confident. Master, I'll lead the charge. Come on, stinky bear, let's fight to the death. Raising the bone trident, the bone hunter charged bravely and launched an attack directly. A Wu, the bear warrior Zhang Shu roared, and the blood red beast's eyes widened. Standing intimidation launched, Zhang Shu shouted angrily, Idiot! I am a brown bear, not a bear. Can't you tell the difference without the Nike logo on the chest? And the brown bear is the largest bear subfamily except the polar bear and the absolute territorial overlord. 
The strength, weight, and bite force are greater than those of the black bear, and it can even hunt down your so-called stinky bear. Do you understand? In my life, the most annoying thing is you academic idiots who know nothing. Ah, suddenly I remembered that this Zhang Xu seems to have a doctorate in zoology. It's really rigorous. Speechless rigor. Chen Mo, Lin Shi, Song Yuhan. The bone hunter is not an academic idiot, he is just a warrior. No matter how Zhang Xu yelled and scolded, the bone hunter's charge did not stop. I don't care if you are a black bear or a brown bear. Go to hell, you stinky bear. Swish. The bone trident stabbed out suddenly and pierced into the abdomen of the bear warrior Zhang Xu. However, it only penetrated 20 to 30 centimeters and could not go any further. The bear skin is too thick. The bear meat is too firm. It really can't be stabbed in. And this depth, for a giant brown bear weighing several tons, really can't cause any effective damage. Humph, a little skeleton, dare to charge me. You are simply overestimating your own abilities and seeking death. You are an unlearned person, you deserve to be killed. Look at me breaking your little bone toothpick. Ka, the bear's paw swung and smashed down. Bear warrior Zhang Shu cut off the bone trident with one blow. Bone hunter was stunned. What? Master, save me. This stinky bear is too strong. One slap will break my subordinate into pieces. Chen Mo shook his head and smiled. It's coming, what are you panicking about? Quick freeze. The frost power surged and covered the body of the giant brown bear. Chen Mo wanted to see if he could trap the beast to death. However, it turned out that he couldn't. Blast it. Hateful ice. I was injured last night because I was frozen and attacked by that Wang Shui. Today, you, Chen Mo, show up again, and you want to repeat the same trick. With the blessing of the four-digit strength attribute of bear warrior Zhang Shu. Chen Mo's current sea level frost power still can't freeze it. At least, it's not realistic to freeze it to death in a short time. If we can leave more time, the frost power can spread and accumulate, forming a thick small iceberg. In that case, the bear warrior may not be able to break from the inside again. One attempt won't work. Chen Mo was not discouraged, but made a scientific research summary on the spot. At present, it seems that rapid freezing is not an appropriate offensive means to deal with opponents who are too powerful and resist fiercely. Especially when the enemy is huge, it is not suitable to use this trick. But on the contrary, if the enemy is small, this trick should have a good effect, and the enemy can be completely frozen and wrapped in an instant. Hum, it should be good for range attack. Listening to Chen Mo's murmurs and thinking. Zhang Shu was dumbfounded. Hey, hey. Hey, you are still fighting, what are you summing up? Could it be, you are also a doctor who focuses on scientific research and loves your subject too much? Good brother, a fellow traveler, Chen Mo sneered and said, Fellow Taoist, I just don't take you seriously at all. Shadow step, open, frost chain, wrap around. Chen Mo attacked again, activate shadow step and directly engage the enemy. Turning into a dark afterimage, he was in front of Zhang Shu in a breath. Shadow Step ignores terrain obstacles. Chen Mo stepped directly on the body of the giant brown bear, and with a graceful figure like a light step, he circled on Zhang Shu's shoulder. At the same time, the frost chains also gathered one by one, locking Zhang Shu tightly. Tighten. With Chen Mo's order, all the frost chains compressed and tightened. Clang. A loud crash was heard. Bear warrior Zhang Shu was pulled to his knees by the frost chains. You. Get off my shoulders. You, what kind of hero are you with these chains? Come down if you have the guts, and fight me head on. Let's see who dies first. In the giant bear state, his agility is greatly limited. At this moment, Zhang Shu felt really frustrated. I have all the strength, but I can't use it. If I could hit this Chen Mo with one punch. Yes, just one punch. I can kill him on the spot. Ha ha, I'm a human, I won't fight with a bear and I'm a mage, close combat is just a whim, for fun. After joking, Chen Mo's eyes were sharp, and he held a ball of explosive fireball in his hand. Stinky bear, open your mouth. Take my fire explosion. Taking the opportunity when Zhang Shu roared and opened his mouth, Chen Mo directly stuffed the fireball containing high heat energy into his mouth. Then, he quickly jumped away. He pulled the bone hunter and retreated directly. Stay away. It's going to explode. As soon as the words fell, 
Bang. There was a blast. A small mushroom cloud burst out from Zhang Shu's mouth. The raging flames enveloped the brown bear's huge head, along with its the bear's hair was also all covered with flames. At this moment, a juggling fire bear appeared in front of everyone. The whole forest was illuminated. This scene was funny and spectacular. Ah, ah woo, my mouth. Ah, it hurts, it hurts so much. You, you deserve to die. Ah, I'm going to kill you. Most of his face was burned, and his teeth and mouth were all blown up. Including his neck, most of his shoulders were also blown away, blood and flesh rolled, revealing white bones. But this Zhang Shu actually held on and didn't die. Chen Mo couldn't help shaking his head and sighing. Tisk tisk tisk, it's really a bit like a bullfrog. The head was so blasted, but he didn't die. Forget it, forget it, I'll give you a quick death. After fighting in person, Chen Mo's desire for his own ice and fire ability combat power test has basically come to a conclusion. Between 100,000 and 150,000 combat power. Combined with Shadow Step, it can bring out super high agility. For enemies with combat power below 150,000, Chen Mo is confident that he can easily defeat them with only ice and fire abilities. As for those above, then use the Grip of Hades to kill them instantly. Grip of Hades, die for me. Sizzle, the undead's big hand tore through the void. Grabbed towards the violent bear warrior Zhang Shu. Pinch with the backhand, killed instantly on the spot. Ah, the suffocation before death made the bear warrior Zhang Shu unable to make a sound, his eyes widened and almost burst. Bang, release the restraint of the grip of Hades. Let the giant brown bear weighing several tons fall to the ground, detonating a circle of ground cracks and raising dust and wind. Song Yuhan and Lin Shi quickly covered their mouths. Um, ha, ha, ha. No, why did you put it down suddenly? At least tell us, we covered our mouths in advance to block the dust. Chen Mo laughed. Oh, you reacted slowly, blame me. When you see the dust coming, can't you just throw an ice wall to block it? Song Yuhan looked embarrassed and angrily, this. I don't have so much combat experience, how can I react? Next time, Next time I will stay away. Oh, yes, I have to put a few ice walls around my body first to block all attacks in advance. I don't want to learn from Brother Mo. A good squishy mage, instead of hiding and casting spells from a distance, has to rush up to close combat. What a lunatic. Woo woo woo, master, look, my trident was slapped off by the stinky bear. The bone hunter held the remaining half of the gun handle and wailed, how can I fight from now on? Without the main weapon, the combat power has at least dropped by half. And it's embarrassing. What a sin. Master is showing off, and I am in trouble. Chen Mo rolled his eyes and said disdainfully, Oh, okay, okay, for your courage to step forward. Let me burn it with soul fire and redesign a stronger trident for you. Two minutes later. Hey, take it and play with it. The bone hunter took the brand new trident and was immediately ecstatic. Thank you, master, thank you, master. Yeah, it's actually a C-level weapon. I made a profit this time. Next time I die as a meat shield, master, please be sure to choose me. I dare to go up even if my body is broken. Who wouldn't be happy to get new weapons by giving away a body? The battle is over, it's time to harvest the spoils. Walk to the huge brown bear corpse. Chen Mo cast soul control took away Zhang Shu's soul, and refined it at the same time, extracting the most precious soul essence. Because I am not interested in transforming into a bear. In addition, Lin Shi and Song Yuhan also have their own matching awakening templates. So, there is nothing to worry about this time. The soul essence is directly poured back into the giant brown bear corpse, and the undead design begins. Perhaps it is because the soul this time is indeed more advanced. The time for the undead to revive is also longer. Half an hour later. Finally, the dead giant bear revived and stood up again. A woo. After a deafening roar, the undead giant bear greeted in a muffled voice. Thank you for the gift, master, the giant bear is at your service. The sense of oppression is full. The giant bear in front of him, which exudes the breath of the dead, is stronger than the bear warrior Zhang Shu who was alive before. There is no doubt that this is definitely the most powerful undead servant that Chen Mo has revived so far. With full of expectations, he shot an eye of the underworld. Undead giant bear, awakening level B, 
Strength, 1403. Agility, 298. Constitution, 1165. Spirit, 276. Talent, 1. Devouring flesh and blood, b. The undead giant bear evolves by devouring flesh and blood. The more flesh and blood it devours, the stronger the original body, the faster the evolution speed, and the better the effect. Skills. 1. Bear Paw Slap B. The undead giant bear swings its bear paw to slap the opponent, with extremely strong explosive power. 2. Standing Intimidation B. The undead giant bear stands up, showing the majesty of the beast, intimidating the enemy. Equipment None. Combat Power Evaluation 169,800. Well, it's pretty good. With the help of the resurrection of the undead, the bear warrior, who was originally only B-level, has now been promoted half a level and has steadily reached the standard level of B-level. The combat power is close to 170,000. Chen Mo is very satisfied with this. The undead legion has added another fierce general. I will take him with me when I go out to fight. This is my super meat shield and top battle tank. Besides, I can also update my mount by the way. Before, Chen Mo had always been riding the undead black swan with Lin Shi and Song Yuhan. Ah, how can I say about riding a big goose? It's still a bit strange and out of place. But now it's better. With this undead giant bear with a shoulder height of more than 4 meters, which is more stable than a tank. From now on, Chen Mo decided to use it as a means of transportation. In ancient times, Caillou rode a panda. Now, we ride a giant undead bear. I, Chen Mo equals Caillou. Yeah, it must be domineering. The view is good, and the appearance is also cool. Jumping with a spring leg, he landed steadily on the back of the giant undead bear. At this moment, Chen Mo felt that he was not riding a beast, but came to a wide platform, overlooking all the tiny creatures below. The main thing is that this giant bear is too huge. The back is like a small square. You can even jog on it for exercise. With a smile on his face, Chen Mo waved and invited, Teacher Lin, Goddess Han, come up and play. Song Yu Han, who had been impatient for a long time, looked delighted and shouted in a tender voice, Come on, come on. After that, she jumped a little and jumped onto the back of the giant undead bear. Ouch, Brother Mo, help me up. Since she had not yet fully mastered her evolved body, Song Yu Han jumped too hard and accidentally crashed into Chen Mo's arms. Waves hit her. The big cup hit her full in the arms. Savoring the touch, Chen Mo smiled and said, Well, not bad, not bad, you are quite scheming. Little slut, did you do it on purpose? Song Yu Han shyly broke free and said in a delicate voice, Oh, it's not what you think. Who among the family members understands? I really didn't stand firmly. I was flattened. Song Yu Han got in the car first, and Lin Shi followed. But she was much more elegant, with a pair of straight long legs interlaced and lightly touched the ground. Then, like a fairy, she landed lightly on the back of the giant bear. This look made Song Yu Han stunned. No, Teacher Lin, you are too elegant, right? Just like a fairy, you look so stupid. Experience the wide field of vision of the new mound. Chen Mo looked at his watch. It's getting late, it's getting dark, we should go back. Today's mission is over, and it will rain acid tonight, so it's not suitable to go out for a long time. Undead giant bear, set off and return. Ah, shaking his body, he walked down the mountain. When the group went down to the teaching building of the agricultural college, Chen Mo arranged, Bone Hunter, you select some soldiers to stay. I still value the agricultural college very much, and I plan to turn it into a royal vegetable garden in the future. It must be guarded in place. Especially this experimental field, you must keep an eye on it for me. Also, search out all the students and teachers who are still alive in the agricultural college. Let them start working now, design plans, collect materials, and build a greenhouse for the experimental field. Hearing this, the bone hunter nodded and replied, Yes, master, I will arrange it right away. The follow-up matters were handled. Chen Mo officially prepared to set off to return to the guesthouse. However, at this time, a small accident happened again. Shish, I only heard a burst of neighing of fierce horses. I turned my head and looked. On the experimental field, more than a dozen horses were running wildly. I don't know where they suddenly appeared from. Chen Mo narrowed his eyes and guessed, are they horses raised by the agricultural college? 
Ha ha, this wonderful college is really full of treasures, which is unexpected. Bone hunter, send a wave of soldiers. Drive these horses away. Wait, Chen Mo suddenly had another idea. These horses are actually the orthodox riding equipment. Why not kill them first, and then revive the undead to create a batch of war horses? Well, let's do it. The undead giant bear is too big. Some roads in the city are not easy to pass by riding it. Besides, it is a powerful combat unit after all. It always carries a few of us, which limits its combat performance. It is not convenient to use the standing intimidation skill. On the other hand, the horse is of suitable size and has a strong sense of control. It is very handsome and cool to ride it. Pick a few of the best ones first, and let me and the girls in the harem ride them. The rest will be sent to the bone hunters and elite skeleton warriors. Enhance their combat effectiveness and highlight their special status. Okay, that's it. Kill the horses and create a batch of undead war horses. Bone hunter, you go yourself. Capture these horses and kill them with minimal injuries. Be careful not to damage their bodies. I still need them. The bone hunter nodded and replied, Yes, master, I'll go right away. It was just dealing with some ordinary horses that had not yet awakened. The skeleton warriors took action and naturally took them down easily. Two or three minutes later, all the horses were killed, and the bodies were kept intact. Even less blood was shed. Chen Mo came to the battlefield and counted the number. One, two, three. A total of eighteen horses, a lot of them. Okay, then revive them all and make them mounts. After some operations, Chen Mo got eighteen dread horses. Dread horse, awakening level E, strength 85, agility 105, constitution 90, spirit 32, talent 1. Good at running E. Dread horses are naturally good at running, and are also perfect riding vehicles. Riding on a dread horse has little bumps and is very comfortable. Skills 1. Horseback E. The dread horse gallops leisurely, maintaining an elegant demeanor and the comfort of the rider. 2. Horseback E. The dread horse gallops wildly, with its four hooves flying in the air. 3. War trampling E. The dread horse sprints wildly, reaches the target, and then tramples. Equipment Bone Stirrups, Bone Saddle, Bone Horseshoe. Combat Power Evaluation, 677. Well, not bad. This is a real mount. Looking at the elegant and majestic tall horse, Chen Mo smiled with satisfaction. Immediately, he called Lin Shi and Song Yuhan, pick one each and try riding it. After some attempts, the two girls quickly mastered the basic horse riding skills, and acceleration, stopping, and turning were no longer a problem. It's not that they are really gifted and can learn it right away. It's because their physiques are too strong now, and their muscle control has reached perfection. Horse riding is also a sport, so it will be easy for them to learn. Since you have mastered it, let's go back to the guesthouse. Chen Mo waved his hand and said. At that time, Song Yuhan came up with a trick and said coquettishly, Hey, Brother Mo, I don't seem to be very proficient in it. Why don't you ride a horse with me, just as a help? I, I'm afraid of falling down. Chen Mo, it's nonsense. You are an awakener, are you still afraid of falling? At this height, you can turn over and stand firmly in the air. Although he saw Song Yuhan's green tea trick, Chen Mo was also very tactful and didn't expose her. Let's ride together. Anyway, I'm the one who takes advantage. Okay, then you sit in the front, and I'll help you control the reins from behind. Speaking of which, a certain female star seems to have had a wonderful scene of fighting on horseback. Today, we can also experience it. In this way, Chen Mo and Song Yuhan rode a fear horse together. The goddess of the school flower huddled in the broad chest of the necromancer, with her back pressed against his chest, close contact, and a subtle atmosphere. With his big hands around his slender waist, Chen Mo quietly did something bad. He he he, this taste is really good. Unfortunately, Teacher Lin is still watching, so don't be too unrestrained. Riding back on horseback, Chen Mo led the undead army back to the base camp of the campus guesthouse. However, before they boarded the lake island of the guesthouse. Along the way, a large number of students, faculty and staff had already appeared and came to watch. Hey, hey, look over there. Is our leader Chen Mo back? Yeah, I think it's him. Good guy, he's really stylish. 
Oh my god. Riding a big horse and hugging a beautiful woman, this is too much enjoyment, right? The emperors and generals in ancient times were no more than this. Oh my god. Look, what kind of monster is that big brown bear? It's like a small mountain, and the floor is shaking when it walks. This undead army is awesome. It's so domineering. I want it too. So stylish. So majestic. Looking at Chen Mo's magnificent undead army from afar, looking at his confident and heroic figure riding a terrifying warhorse. All the survivors present suddenly realize. This is really. The sun and the moon. So handsome. The boys were excited. A real man should be like this. He can replace him. Ah, forget it, I take that back. He can't replace me at all. If you get discovered, be careful of being turned into an undead servant. The girls squeezed their legs together, their eyes sparkling, oh my, he's so handsome. I want to give birth to him. Balls, fight me to death, don't show any mercy. I'm willing, strolling in the garden, riding a horse, feeling the envy of being the center of attention. Chen Mo smiled. In this life, I finally live out my edge. This feeling is great. Landing on the lake island. Kai Xiaoyu, who was waiting for him early in the morning, hurried forward to greet him. Brother Mo, you are back. Chen Mo smiled and patted Song Yuhan's thigh. Little beaker, get off the car. He got off the horse gracefully. Chen Mo walked up to Kai Xiaoyu and said with a smile, How do you feel about managing the base on the first day? It's okay. Kai Xiaoyu scratched his head and said unconfidently, Some places are not done well, it's my lack of ability. Chen Mo said indifferently, There is no specific standard for good and bad. Now the situation is turbulent, everything is in ruins, and everything starts from scratch. This is my first day as a leader, and you are your first day as a housekeeper. Who can ensure that everything is covered and everything is perfect? So, no matter what, as long as you try your best, it's fine. That's it. Just do good things, don't ask about the future. Improve and learn in the process of doing, this is the key. Quote. Kai Xiaoyu nodded and said seriously, Yes. Brother Mo, you are right, I will study hard, do my best, and strive to do everything well. At least, do the best I can do. Chen Mo nodded and smiled, Okay, just have this motivation. Seeing that you are so attentive. Now, I will help you awaken your soul. As he said, Chen Mo took out the reserved soul source and blessed Kai Xiaoyu. Just like this, in a dazed surprise, Kai Xiaoyu also became an awakener. Although it is only the most basic body strengthening awakening. But it is also very meaningful. This means that he, Kai Xiaoyu, will no longer be an ordinary person in the future, but a transcendent. You can appreciate the charm of another dimension. Brother Mo, excited to cry, Kai Xiaoyu knelt on the spot and expressed his gratitude with the highest respect. My life is yours from now on. Earlier, Brother Mo saved his life, and then Brother Mo saved his girlfriend. Now, even the future of awakening is given by Brother Mo. I, Kai Xiaoyu, must have accumulated merits in my previous life to meet such a great benefactor. Chen Mo, hey, don't say it, you really did accumulate merits in your previous life. I am a reborn person, and I will help you to fulfill your merits in this life. Chen Mo reached out and helped Kai Xiaoyu up, smiling and said, You are the first one to follow me, and your status is different. In the future, you don't need to do such a big gift. No need to say more, everything is self-evident, just help me do things well in the future. Women dress up to please themselves, and men die for their confidence. At this moment, Kai Xiaoyu felt that she had met her confidant and great benefactor. My life was given by Brother Mo. Even if he wanted me to die, I would not hesitate. Brother Mo, let's go in first. The academician suite on the top floor has been cleaned up, and all the furniture, bed sheets and quilt covers have been replaced with new ones. I will notify the kitchen now to cook for you. Kai Xiaoyu said. Chen Mo nodded. Well, let's arrange it this way. It's just right. While I'm cooking, I'll ask you about the affairs you handled today. Then, I'll assign you some tasks to do later. Oh, yes, find two rooms on the top floor for Teacher Lin and Song Yuhan. Kai Xiaoyu replied, Okay, I'll arrange it. Ah, Brother Mo, how about letting Yuru serve the girls in the future? I'm a boy, I'm afraid it's not convenient. 
Of course, you can choose someone else. I just want to find something for Yiru to do, so that she can repay you for your kindness. If it weren't for your rescue, she might. Chen Mo raised his hand and said, Okay, let her. You can say this directly, it's great. Don't hide anything from me, this is the greatest dedication. I think Lin Yiru is also honest and calm, and her academic performance seems to have been good, and she must be smart. She helps me manage, manage the harem, and it should be able to sort it out. There's nothing to hide, judging from the resources and legion combat power that Chen Mo has now. From now on, his life will be more comfortable than that of ancient emperors. Opening a harem is to follow his own physical and mental needs. Good for health, go up to the top floor of the guesthouse. Academician suite, Chen Mo looked around at the low-key and luxurious Chinese furniture, clean carpets, neat beds, and panoramic floor-to-ceiling windows. Well, very good. It is worthy of being the top suite for receiving academicians in the past, very tasteful. Binhai University of Science and Technology has a long history and is also quite prestigious in the Longguo College community. Therefore, in the early years, it often undertook scientific research reception, academic conferences and other tasks. At this moment, the academician suite under Chen Mo's feet was specially set up to receive those scientists and meritorious predecessors. It is said that many famous figures in history have lived here. They are all first-class dignitaries and meritorious. Call Kai Xiaoyu to the conference room of the suite. Chen Mo asked, Let's talk about your management for the day. I was fighting outside, and you stayed behind to manage. What arrangements did you make? Kai Xiaoyu nodded and began to report, My main task today is to settle the survivors rescued by you, Brother Mo. This involves issues such as safety, housing, and material distribution. At present, the number 20 dormitory building has been completely cleared, and the survivors are being arranged to move in one after another. But it's not enough. In the afternoon, the skeleton warriors suddenly rescued a large number of survivors. It was crowded with people, all panicked and scared. Now thinking about it, the scene was really a bit chaotic, and I didn't know how to arrange it at the time. Later, I saw that the number 20 dormitory building was not enough. So I cleared out the indoor gymnasium nearby. Quote, hearing this, Chen Mo nodded and added, In the afternoon, my undead army added a large wave of combat power. I arranged the skeleton warriors to split into teams to clean up and rescue the survivors on their own. So, at that time, a concentrated wave of survivors were sent come back. There will be many emergencies and chaos in the future. You just need to stay calm and deal with each one one by one, it won't be a problem. Quote, Let's talk about the indoor gymnasium. Why was the second resettlement site chosen there? Kai Xiaoyu replied, Because it is close, the site is open, and it is quick to clean up. I think as long as there is a roof to block the acid rain, it will be enough for now. Tonight, keep the survivors warm, let them sleep on the floor, huddle together for warmth, and they can survive anyway. Chen Mo nodded in agreement he agreed. Well, it is indeed a good choice. It is good that you have this understanding. Now that the world is in chaos, human life is cheap. Use the most direct and simple way, consume the least manpower and material resources, and let them live first. As for the follow-up, it depends on the contribution. Only those who have contributed can get my protection. For those who have not contributed, it is best to die early. Save from living in misery and wasting the survival materials of others. Of course, after you die, you contribute your soul and body, and I, Chen Mo, will also remember your contributions. We will definitely bury you properly, clothes, and erect a monument to commemorate you. Did you encounter any troublemakers? Chen Mo asked again. Kai Xiaoyu shook her head and laughed, Hey, how could there not be any? The situation is so chaotic, the future is uncertain, and everyone is worried about survival. There are many troublemakers, but most of them are fine. They immediately behaved after being beaten by the skeleton warriors. They did whatever they were told to do and dared not to make trouble again. It's just that there are some special people. Hee <laughs> hee, special people. They were rescued by me, Chen Mo, and now they want my protection and material supplies. To put it nicely, everyone is equal, and everything starts over. To put it bluntly, you are all my dogs. Whatever I, Chen Mo, tell you to do, you have to do it. HMPH, 
what kind of special group? Not afraid of fighting, but not afraid of death. Chen Mo sneered, Xiao Yu, you are still too kind. If beating doesn't work, then kill. It's just right, killing the chicken to scare the monkey, won't it be easier to arrange your future things? Kai Xiao Yu smiled and said, Yes, brother Mo, you were right, that's the reason, but I thought it was complicated. But let me first talk about what those people and I think. Those who don't cooperate are the former school leaders of our school. They said that they have channels and have received notifications from the top, and a comprehensive rescue will be launched soon. The government and the military will work hard to rescue. In addition, a disaster relief committee will be established in our school in name. The school originally the leaders of this university will continue to be in charge of management and take charge of all rescue work. Quote, right now, I think this rescue committee is meaningless. After all, you are here, Brother Mo. It's enough to have one person in charge. The world of Keta is supported by you, Brother Mo. The future of all of us is in the hands of you, Brother Mo. However, the reason why I didn't kill them is because they also said that the higher-ups will distribute disaster relief supplies later, and they will also update the situation of mutant beasts and awakeners in Binhai City in real time. I think, one is information, and the other is supplies. These two are more important than their lives, Brother Mo, you may also value them. So, they haven't been killed yet, they are all locked up first, waiting for your order. Kai Xiaoyu is right, those remnants of the old times are not important. Life and death are only a matter of Chen Mo's mind. However, they still have channels to communicate with the higher-ups. If useful information and material supplies can be obtained through them. This is indeed beneficial to Chen Mo. After some thought, Chen Mo nodded and said, then don't kill them first, keep them. Xiao Yu, when you go down, detain the important people in this group and keep them under close watch. Now that the communication is not completely cut off, confiscate all their mobile phones. You keep an eye on them yourself. If the superiors do have important intelligence and materials to distribute, you can collect them. If there are special cases, come to me for processing. As for other insignificant people, just treat them as ordinary survivors. Work when you should, otherwise you will have no food to eat. I don't want to keep useless people here. If they still make trouble, kill them. Kai Xiaoyu nodded. Okay, Brother Mo, I understand what you mean. In the last life, Chen Mo's status was indeed too low, and the information he could obtain was extremely limited. Alas, the information cocoon of the lower class people is really too heavy. So, now Chen Mo also decided to keep those former school leaders first. Just treat them as information collectors, and use them to obtain some intelligence from the outside world. It is likely to be useful. In addition to this, Chen Mo actually has another idea. Keep the chickens first, and kill them when they are really needed to warn others. Come with a strong suppression to regulate people's hearts. As for this time point, it is expected to come in three to four days. At that time, the whole world will be shrouded in toxic black fog, the sky will be dark, and it will be impossible to travel, and supplies will be extremely scarce. The atmosphere of the disaster will be the most intense. Despair will penetrate people's hearts. At that time, people will be idle and have nothing to do, they will not be well fed or clothed, and their emotions will be suppressed and they will inevitably have wild thoughts, and there will definitely be some internal conflicts. And once such a situation occurs, Chen Mo can push out the chickens he is raising now and kill them. A fierce deterrent will make those crazy, lazy and idiot people sober up. Okay, now that you've finished your report, it's my turn to talk about future arrangements. Chen Mo said, tonight, toxic acid rain will continue to fall. Large-scale material collection and transportation work cannot be carried out outdoors, but civilians' work cannot stop indoors. Collect what needs to be collected, organize what needs to be organized. Safety, warmth, information acquisition, ideological unity. There are still many things to do. Xiao Yu, do you understand what I mean? Kai Xiao Yu frowned, quickly digested the task outline proposed by Chen Mo, and then gave her own summary. Brother Mo, your opinion is. Thinking is, can't stop at any time. As long as you can still work, work hard. Everyone must work saturatedly and make their own contributions. Quote. Chen Mo nodded and smiled. Very good, you understand the key. 
but I didn't say that I want to make people die of exhaustion. What I want is to be contribution-oriented, so that those people have to work hard for their own survival. In short, without contribution, there will be no material rations. If you are lazy and greedy, then get out of my territory. If you make trouble, then prepare to become a chicken to scare the monkeys. Contribution. This is the core of Chen Mo's future base. Only useful people can survive in the apocalypse. At this moment, Kai Xiaoyu has completely understood what Chen Mo meant. Brother Mo, don't worry. I will definitely design the contribution system you mentioned. What's more important is supervision. Chen Mo added and corrected. With a legal system, it must be implemented and supervised. The contributions of those who really work must be recorded, and the credit cannot be taken away by others. This job can be handed over to the skeleton warriors. They are cold-blooded and will not be partial. The most important thing is that they are absolutely loyal to me, Chen Mo. Everything will be based on the highest goal of protecting my interests. Okay, Brother Mo, I understand what you said. After I go down, I will immediately plan and design and arrange tasks. Kai Xiaoyu said seriously. Chen Mo nodded and continued, Tonight, everyone must start working to earn contribution points. Tomorrow is equally critical. I have solid intelligence that a toxic black fog will descend on the world the day after tomorrow, covering everything. By then, the sun will be invisible and the temperature will drop sharply. The outdoor toxicity is extremely high, and it is basically impossible to go out. So, we must take advantage of the last day of tomorrow to collect supplies with all our strength. Warm clothes, food, and medicines, all must be prepared. Shall you, when you go down, tell the civilians this information directly. Let them prepare themselves mentally in advance, so as not to panic the day after tomorrow. At the same time, emphasize the criticality of tomorrow. Everyone has to go out to collect supplies. The more supplies collected, the greater the contribution. When the black fog comes, the more food rations will be obtained. Quote. After listening to Chen Mo's announcement, Kai Xiaoyu's expression changed. Ah. There will be big changes the day after tomorrow. The toxic black fog covers the world. There is no sunlight, and the extreme cold is coming. Oh, it's really hard to deal with. I thought the current situation was desperate enough. Unexpectedly, this is just the beginning. Kai Xiaoyu worriedly said, Brother Mo, how long will the toxic black fog last? About, a week, Chen Mo said. His judgment was based on his experience in the previous life. However, now that he has been reborn, he doesn't know if it will bring about a butterfly effect and lead to uncertainty. So for the time being, use the word, probably, and make a conservative inference first. Kai Xiaoyu nodded, feeling relieved, and said, Okay, I know. Go down and make arrangements now, and prepare for the coming of this black fog in advance. Make sure to arrange everyone in place and search for supplies vigorously. If anyone dares to be lazy and not work, I will let the skeleton warriors beat them hard. Hey, that's not necessary. Listening to Kai Xiaoyu's planned arrangements, Chen Mo raised his hand and grinned, just notify them in place, don't rush to beat those people. If they don't want to work, let them go. Ah, why is that? Kai Xiaoyu couldn't understand, and his face was full of questions. Chen Mo smiled and said, I have said that only contributions can have food. Since these people are unwilling to make contributions, then there will be no food. Hee <laughs> hee, when the black fog comes the day after tomorrow, some people will have food to eat, and some people will not. At that time, the weight of the word contribution will be deeply rooted in people's hearts. Since ancient times, it is not the lack of people that is worrying, but the inequality. Do you understand what I mean? There must be a clear core. They work to search for supplies for themselves and to survive. As for me, I already have abundant supplies to enjoy. If they are unwilling to fight for their lives, they are hopeless. I, Chen Mo, don't care about the lives of these people. Quote. Kai Xiaoyu suddenly realized, hiss. So that's it. Brother Mo is smart. They don't listen to what you say, and they don't listen to what you beat. After a real lesson, hunger, and death, these people will definitely be obedient. Could it be that this is the so-called governing a big country like cooking a small fish? Turning your hand to make clouds and turning your hand to make rain. Quote. I didn't realize before that Brother Mo is still an excellent politician. 
The government meeting was over. Kai Xiaoyu rushed to give orders and distribute tasks. Chen Mo didn't keep him. After waiting for a while, dinner was ready in the kitchen. Ah, maybe the word dinner is not accurate enough. It should be called a banquet. Looking at the table full of exquisite dishes, Song Yuhan was amazed and surprised. Wow, I thought lunch was rich enough. Unexpectedly, the evening is the real luxury. Lin Shi nodded in agreement. Well, it is indeed luxurious. Such a big table of dishes, let alone the three of us, even if there are ten more people, we can't finish it. And they opened red wine. It's so comfortable and enjoyable. Chen Mo smiled and said indifferently, luxury is luxury. Anyway, the supplies are ours, we can eat whatever we want, depending on our mood. Come on, eat, feast, drink and eat to your heart's content. Chen Mo and the other two praised the chef's cooking skills. Well, he is worthy of being the executive chef. The taste is really great. I like the braised lion head the most. It is so fragrant and not greasy at all. Ha ha, you only focus on the meat, right? Didn't you notice that we drank a whole bottle of Lafite? It's from 1982, it costs one or two hundred thousand. Ah, a bottle of red wine is so expensive. Oh, I should have tasted it more if I knew it earlier. Just now, I drank like a cow, and I didn't have time to enjoy the wine carefully. At this moment, Song Yuhan and Lin Shi were a little surprised. Is it really the end of the world after the disaster? How come our life is so luxurious, but it is better than the peaceful era? Well, after thinking about it, all this is Chen Mo's credit. Because of him, life can be so comfortable and enjoyable. Digestion is finished after the meal. Lin Shi went to take a shower first. Chen Mo approached Song Yuhan and said with a sly smile, Let's go, let's take a shower too. Ah this, Song Yuhan said shyly, really together. I, I'm a little shy. Tisk, what's there to be shy about? Chen Mo said with a smile, don't worry. I will be extra sympathetic to the new car on the road. The next morning, Chen Mo got up and stretched lazily. Well, my waist is a little sore. Xiao Pa Kai is probably worse, so let's not call her for now. Let's go and find teacher Lin for treatment. Came to Lin Zai's room. The elder sister had already gotten up and was eating breakfast. Chen Mo smiled and said, Good morning, Teacher Lin. You got up so early. Oh my, I didn't sleep well yesterday, and my waist is a little sore. Teacher Lin, please cast a holy light healing spell to relieve it. Lin Shi cast a spell casually, raised his eyebrows and asked, Where is Song Yuhan? Ah, she, she might be injured, right? So she needs to sleep more and take care of her body. Chen Mo scratched his head and explained. Lin Shi rolled his eyes and was too lazy to ask for details. Straight to the point, let's have breakfast first. The kitchen has made two sets of Chinese and Western food. Which one do you like? I'll go get it for you. Chen Mo, I like both. Please bring them all. What else do adults have to choose? Of course, they want all. Eat more and grow muscles. Pedaling is more powerful. We worked hard last night and consumed a lot. After bringing two breakfasts to Chen Mo, Lin Shi sat down beside him, drinking milk elegantly, and asked, What are our plans for today? According to you, tomorrow is the day when the toxic black fog will descend. By then, even we will have a hard time going out. So, we should hurry up today, right? Do you have a plan? While eating a rich and delicious breakfast, Chen Mo said, Don't worry, I have a plan. Today's plan is to go out and search for supplies. To the west of the University of Science and Technology is a residential area, where there are many supermarkets, convenience stores, and vegetable markets. Oh yes, I remember there seems to be a Sam's Club, a large warehouse-style supermarket, and the supplies must be sufficient. After dinner, call Song Yuhan to join us. Let's go and loot all these supply points. Lin Shi nodded and said, well, it's time to continue searching for supplies. However, you have to make sure to arrange the manpower and routes for transportation in advance. If the logistics can't keep up, the goods can't be transported back, and our cleaning progress will be greatly slowed down. Chen Mo smiled and said, Don't worry, it's already been arranged. All the survivors rescued yesterday have to work today to help collect and transport supplies. Otherwise, why would I save them and keep them? Lin Shi nodded, Okay, as long as you have the arrangements. 
However, in addition to the residential area in the west, is there any action in the east? Are we going all the way west? If the return journey is too long, transportation will be inconvenient. Go all the way west, Chen Mo sneered and said, then let's open up a part of the east side as well. Although that is the territory of the sports college and the dance college, there are not many residential areas for urban residents. However, there are still many convenience stores and small and medium-sized supermarkets. When the time comes, we will clean it up and transport all the supplies back. Moreover, in this way, there will be an affiliated land on the east and west sides of our main base of the University of Science and Technology, which can be used as a strategic buffer zone. If a powerful mutant beast descends later, it will not endanger our core homeland in the first place. We can rely on the terrain and organize a sequential defense. Well, that's it. Today's task. Expand the east and west areas of the University of Science and Technology in different routes and collect supplies. The task is finalized. Coincidentally, Chen Mo also finished breakfast. Seeing this, Lin Shi put down the milk cup, stood up and said, I'll go wake up Song Yuhan. Time is tight and the task is heavy today, don't waste any more time. Chen Mo held the elder sister's arm and smiled, hey, wait a minute. She was seriously injured last night and lost a lot of blood. Let her sleep for a while. As he said that, Chen Mo pulled Lin Shi to sit on his lap. Teacher Lin, I saw you didn't eat much just now. This won't work, you'll be hungry when you start the task later. Come on, I'll feed you some more. Lin Shi was surprised, what the hell? I'm really full. Chen Mo smiled evilly and said, no, you're not. The West Gate of the University of Science and Technology campus. Chen Mo has led Lin Shi and Song Yuhan to assemble the Undead Legion. At the same time, there are a large number of civilians hanging behind them, forming a convoy and a transport team to act as transport manpower. Riding a tall and burly horse of fear in front, Chen Mo raised his whip and ordered, everyone, move forward. Chapter 71 The army marched westward in a mighty force. With the help of the bone hunters and a group of elite skeleton warriors, Chen Mo didn't need to do anything himself. All the shops along the way were cleared out. Later, the transport team entered the scene, and a large material route was opened on the spot. On the residential buildings on both sides of the road, the survivors who took refuge in their homes noticed the big movement below. One by one, they quietly put their heads to the window to look down. When they saw Chen Mo riding a fear horse and looking heroic. When they saw the tall and strong skeleton warriors under his command. All the survivors were shocked. How did that guy do it? Are all these skeletons his subordinates? It's crazy. Those skeletons kill zombies as easily as drinking water. I heard yesterday that mutated monsters and human superpowers have appeared all over the world. It seems that this young man is a superpower. Wow, I'm so envious. If I can also awaken superpowers, why do I need to be afraid of these zombies? The heaven is unfair, why is it him who awakens and not me? Hey, so young and so handsome. And he's a powerful awakener. This person is so much better than others, it's really infuriating. Observing secretly. Finally, someone couldn't help but call out. Hey, come and save me. I'm trapped at home, the water and electricity are out, and there's no food. Save me, I can give you money. One person spoke, and hundreds of people shouted afterwards. Classmate, you are a student of HKUST, right? I used to be a student of HKUST, please come and save me. I'm so scared. Brother, my old man is dying. Please come and save him, and send him to the hospital. Brother, can you come and save me? My boyfriend has turned into a zombie and keeps banging on the door. I'm so scared. Please save me, I can be your girlfriend. Hum, he looked at the sound. Chen Mo saw a 150 asterisk 150 small tank waving for help on the balcony. He was shocked on the spot. Chen Mo was alert. Unlucky, I was spotted by Snorlax in broad daylight. Don't look at it, don't look at it. I am a Puritan, I can't stand this kind of thing. I have no interest in dealing with these survivors calling for help. Chen Mo casually called the elite skeleton warriors around him and ordered, if anyone dares to come down, we can rescue them depending on the situation. But they must be arranged to join the material collection team and the transportation team immediately. Don't worry about useless people, it's a waste of time. 
Those who shout and make trouble will be killed on the spot. Yes, master, I understand, I will arrange it now. The elite skeleton warrior nodded and replied. At this stage, Chen Mo does not have too much population demand. Those rescued at Binhai University of Science and Technology yesterday are enough to undertake the task of material transportation. Therefore, Chen Mo will not take the initiative to rescue those who are willing to talk and sit at home waiting to die. As long as they have a little courage and dare to come down to seek rescue. That means that this is a person with certain combat capabilities and can be accepted. For such people, just form a team and let them start working. The subsequent safety and shelter issues will be solved by Chen Mo himself. In this way, sweeping and searching along the way, and expanding the logistics and transportation team by the way. It was almost noon, Chen Mo led the vanguard and arrived at the first important point of the day. Sam's Club, Warehouse Supermarket. Looking at the huge material center in front of him, Chen Mo smiled and said, No matter how many convenience stores and small supermarkets we clean up in front of us, they are just minor matters and not important. Only by taking down this large supermarket can we truly solve the material problem. Immediately, Chen Mo ordered, Bone Hunter, you lead the team in yourself. Clean up layer by layer first, and then I will arrange for the transport team to enter. Bone Hunter. Yes, master, I will go right away. Then, it led several teams of skeleton warriors and quickly entered the Sam's Club. While waiting, Song Yuhan smiled and said, Brother Mo, it was pretty easy for us to walk this way. We basically didn't encounter any mutant beasts or awakeners. It was much faster than cleaning up HKUST yesterday. Chen Mo nodded and smiled, indeed, it wasn't difficult. But it's understandable. Hakust is a university with a concentrated population, and they are all young students, who are most likely to awaken and evolve. So, we encountered so many weird people and weird things when we cleaned up yesterday. It's an ordinary urban area now, but there aren't so many people gathered, and we won't encounter any along the way, it's normal to see awakened people. Quote. Hearing this, Song Yuhan nodded to show her understanding, well, I understand. It seems that yesterday's extraordinary experience gave me some illusions. I really thought that there were awakened people and mutant monsters everywhere. But it's too easy and boring. If there can be more accidents. Song Yuhan just finished speaking. The accident really happened. In front, inside Sam's club. Bang bang bang. A series of crisp explosions sounded. Lin Shi was instantly alert. It's gunshots. Gun. This kind of strictly controlled firearm is rare in Dragon Country. What's going on? What happened in Sam's club? Song Yuhan looked serious and asked, Brother Mo, are we going in? Chen Mo said in a calm tone, What's the hurry? The bone hunters are still inside. It's just a few gunshots, maybe they will be done in a while. If they can't do it, Song Yuhan, if they can't do it, what should I do? Chen Mo looked at her and said unhappily, Then I will spank you. I call you a bad mouth, talking nonsense. There have been no accidents along the way, but as soon as you opened your mouth, trouble came. Ah this, Song Yuhan was embarrassed and said aggrievedly, No, this can't be blamed entirely on me, right? Quote. Whispered. I just said it casually, how could I have thought that there would be a real accident? Again, let me say it again. Even if I don't say it, the accident is there, it will happen if it is supposed to happen but I believe in the bone hunter. Quote, it's so powerful, it's not afraid of gunfire at all, how could it be defeated? Crack, okay, this time, there's no need to finish the words of the crow's mouth. The bone hunter has been cursed. Just heard, the outer wall of the supermarket in front exploded and burst into explosions. The bone hunter was pushed out by a huge force and fell to the ground fiercely. It seems, I really can't beat it. Song Yuhan was stunned on the spot, and the words stopped abruptly. Brother, is it so appropriate? I just said you are strong. Chen Mo looked at her, smacked his lips, and said sarcastically, Keep talking, why don't you say anything? Lin Shi held his forehead and said helplessly, It seems that you really have some crow's mouth attributes. Song Yuhan was very aggrieved. No, I am an independent woman. You can't define me casually. Even the bone hunter was beaten out. This was really beyond Chen Mo's expectations. What exactly is hidden in Sam's club? It must be an evolved body. 
But is it a human? Or, a mutant beast? Go. Holding the reins, Chen Mo rode forward with a serious expression. Arrived at the bottom of the supermarket, Chen Mo called out, Bone Hunter, come over and answer first. Yes, Master. While accelerating his recovery, he turned over and jumped up. The Bone Hunter returned quickly and reported, Master, there is a human awakener in the supermarket. His ability is very strange, I can't do anything about it for the time being. Hearing this, Chen Mo asked, what's strange? Bone Hunter, the other party can control a kind of black mucus. Once it is contaminated, the movement is greatly restricted, and it can't be shaken off. Moreover, that kind of mucus is toxic and highly corrosive. Fortunately, I am an undead and I am not afraid of this kind of attack. If ordinary flesh and blood creatures are contaminated, I am afraid they will be completely eliminated within a minute or two. Just now, the other party used the free change function of the toxic mucus to entangle me. I lost my fulcrum and couldn't exert force, so I was thrown out directly. Master, don't worry, let me go into fight again. I will definitely not lose. Black toxic mucus, can it also change its form freely? Well, it does sound a bit strange. Chen Mo frowned and ordered, you don't have to go. The indoor space is narrow, which is not conducive to your free fighting. Send more troops to go up and besiege. Teacher Lin, give me a holy light blessing. Okay. Hearing this, Lin Chi quickly waved the holy light staff and chanted the spell, holy light blessing, descend. In an instant, Chen Mo's whole body was shrouded in golden light. In the state of holy light blessing, his resistance to negative effects was greatly improved. Presumably, it would be very helpful to deal with that strange toxic mucus. Ice. Everything was ready, Chen Mo waved his hand to induce the power of frost. In an instant, layers of frost steps formed under his feet. Under the support of the steps, Chen Mo rose on the spot. When he reached the height of the third floor, he could just see the situation inside the supermarket through the hole in the outer wall. I saw a group of people gathering inside. One of the young men had his hands wrapped in pitch black mucus. It must be the awakener who injured the bone hunter. Chen Mo locked his eyes on him and attacked him directly. Hermit's grip. Give it to me. In an instant, the sky was torn apart, and the Hades hand, wrapped in a thick breath of death, swept out. A tight grip. Directly capture the young man. Hee <laughs> hee, it's easy to do. Hey, wait a minute. This time it's really a bit difficult to do. Just as Chen Mo was about to control the Hades hand to grab the young man out of the room. An accident happened, the young man softened all over, and actually turned his body into a ball of black mucus. Then, taking advantage of the short time when his body softened and contracted rapidly, he broke free from the grip of the Hades grip. He slipped away from below. No time to think about it. Chen Mo quickly continued to attack, quick freeze. HMPH. The grip of Hades can't deal with you, a scoundrel, right? Then try my freezing. As long as you are liquid, I, Chen Mo, don't believe that I can't freeze you. The power of frost was like a torrent, shooting out from a distance. Sure enough, when it touched the black mucus that was the incarnation of the young man, it quickly froze it. Crack, crack, the ice crystals spread rapidly. The balance of victory continued to fall to Chen Mo's side. However, it was still not enough to determine the outcome in one fell swoop. Ah, disconnect it. Only a tragic roar was heard. The black mucus quickly deformed again and returned to the human body. Immediately, the young man was very cruel and directly tore off his frozen arm. Swish, the sound of flesh and bones tearing, accompanied by the sound of blood splattering, sounded at the same time. The young man with the broken arm fled faster and hid in a blind spot inside the Sam's club. Chen Mo lost his target. Okay, okay, that's interesting. You're a weirdo, but you're also ruthless. Unfortunately, you met me, Chen Mo, today. In the face of absolute power, your struggle is in vain. Frost Whip, inducing the power of frost, forming a long and thick whip. Hula la la. Chen Mo swung the frost whip vigorously, and the sound of breaking through the air was tearing and exploding. Bang! One strike, directly hit a huge crack in the outer wall of the supermarket. The soil and rocks collapsed, and the concrete turned into powder. Bang! 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 Shooting left and right, whipping continuously. In just half a minute, 
Chen Mo directly dismantled the entire third floor of Sam's club. The vision was clear, locking on the awakened youth again. Still want to run? Come back, swish. The frost chain stretched out like a dragon. Captured the awakened youth with a broken arm on the spot. At the same time, the frost power attached to the chain invaded the body. Freeze the opponent's black mucus and could no longer be mobilized. Come out, tug the frost whip with his backhand. Chen Mo pulled the awakened youth out of the room. Puff, the youth's body fell heavily to the ground, spitting blood, and fainted on the spot. The battle is over. Brother Mo is so handsome. Song Yuhan, who couldn't wait any longer, celebrated ecstatically. Awesome. It's really awesome. Lin Shi was relieved and smiled. Fortunately, there are enough methods and no accidents. But it's really handsome, so cool. In the back. The students of the University of Science and Technology who followed Chen Mo were all stunned. Oh my god, is this a battle between superpowers? It's extraordinary, it's really amazing. Awakened people and ordinary people are not in the same dimension at all. It's hard to understand, but it's shocking. It's just like dreaming and filming a movie, so cool. Brother Mo is awesome, the leader is awesome. Wow, it seems that my brother is right this time, so handsome and so powerful, he must be the protagonist. Since being rescued yesterday, these students of the University of Science and Technology have not really seen Chen Mo's fighting methods. So, they are more curious about him than in awe. There are even many young students who are dissatisfied and jealous. Why is it that only you, Chen Mo, can show off? Riding a big horse and hugging a beautiful woman, what are you capable of? The skeleton warriors are powerful, but that doesn't mean you are powerful too. Cut it, if there were no undead legion, I think you would be just an ordinary person, and you would be vulnerable at all. But now, I saw Chen Mo's fighting methods with my own eyes. All the dissatisfaction and jealousy disappeared. All that was left was awe and fear. Too powerful. This Chen Mo is definitely not a useless waste. The undead legion is powerful not because of itself, but because, their master is more powerful. It is an incredible and incomprehensible super-dimensional existence. Puff, jump off the frost platform. Walk to the side of the unconscious young awakener with broken arms. Chen Mo cast the eye of Hades to check the details of this guy's awakening. Lin Qingxian, awakening level. C. Toxic mucus. Strength, 135. Agility, 244. Constitution, 189. Spirit, 398. Talent. 1. Toxic mucus. C. You master a kind of toxic mucus, which is toxic and corrosive and can change its form freely. Skills. 1. Venom. C. You transform your body into toxic mucus, which can move freely and unhindered in all terrains. 2. Venom spray. C. Spray venom from your mouth, instantly corroding the enemy. Equipment. None. Combat power evaluation. 66,239. Sea level, combat power close to 70,000, which is pretty good. Moreover, this toxic mucus can change its form freely. As long as it is used properly, it can produce miraculous effects. It is pretty good both on the offensive and defensive ends. Looking back, Chen Mo called Lin Shi, Teacher Lin, give him a healing spell. I want to ask him something. Okay, Lin Shi stepped forward and waved the holy light staff. Holy light healing spell accompanied by the soft light of life. The fainted young man woke up faintly, hum. At the same time, his broken arm also stopped bleeding and the wound healed quickly. Am I? Am I dead? Chen Mo, not yet. Ha, huh. the young man woke up, opened his eyes suddenly, and asked, who are you? Chen Mo smiled and said, it doesn't matter. Besides, you are my prisoner now. Logically, I should ask and you should answer. Understand. The young man looked enlightened and nodded in fear, please, please. Although he didn't know who Chen Mo was. However, in the battle just now, he had really felt Chen Mo's strength. The young man knew that he had no choice. If he cooperated honestly, he might still be able to survive. The necromancer smiled and said nothing, you live a hell of a life. If it were someone else, he might want to recruit you and save your life. Unfortunately, you met me, Chen Mo. You who are alive. To be honest, you are more valuable if you are not dead. Where are you from? Why are you hiding in Sam's club? Chen Mo asked. Ah, my name is Lin Qingxian. 
I am a member of the Wild Wolf Gang nearby. The disaster struck the day before yesterday, and my body changed. Yesterday, we ran out because we had no food. We ran all the way to this supermarket. After that, we ate and drank in the supermarket. Intel, Intel you suddenly appeared. Lin Qingxin replied in panic. Wild Wolf Gang. Hey, you really don't say it. Chen Mo has heard of the name of this gang. In the last life, before the disaster, these underground gangs were hidden, and civilians didn't know much. However, with the arrival of the end of the world, the world was in chaos. These underground gangs all emerged. The Wild Wolf Gang is a force in this area. There are many gangs and their strength is pretty good. In the last life, the most famous person in this force was their leader. He committed many evils and was extremely cruel. He occupied several communities, robbed supplies, and raped women. It can be said to be a complete loss of humanity. I remember one time, their leader brought many villains, all armed with weapons, and wanted to attack the University of Science and Technology, plunder supplies, and occupy female college students. In that conflict, Chen Mo was a cannon fodder soldier, and also clashed with this gang on the front line. As for later, this wild wolf gang was not strong enough, and was hastily repelled, and no sound was heard again. I remember that your leader seems to be called Wang Bin. Why not Lin Qingxin? That's my big brother, Lin Qingxin said hurriedly, the leader of the wild wolf gang, very powerful. Chen Mo curled his lips and asked in confusion, is he also an awakener? Lin Qingxin shook his head. No, my big brother is just an ordinary person. However, we found the dead police officer near this street yesterday and got the pistol. If you dare to do something to my big brother, be careful. If you know what's good for you, let me go now. I'll go back and introduce you to the big brother and arrange for you to join the wild wolf gang. From now on, we are all brothers, eating and drinking together, and conquering the world. Ha ha, listen, listen, this guy is really confused, he's starting to tell jokes. Pistol, what's the use of that thing? And you want to introduce me to the wild wolf gang? What kind of rotten fish and shrimp gang is that? Your statement is outrageous, Chen Mo said jokingly. I say, there is nothing wrong with your brain right. Could it be that the arm was broken and the nerves in the brain were also pulled out? Quote. We are all awakened. Don't you know whether the gun has lethality to us? Hey, turn around and take a look. This, the bone hunter, sea level. This, the headless juggler, sea level. Oh, yes, and all the skeleton warriors you can see now, they are all my subordinates. Then may I ask, if I join the wild wolf gang, should I be the leader? Or should I be the leader? Hearing this, Lin Qingxin looked embarrassed and was speechless. Ah. I'm used to saying harsh words in the past, why didn't I think about it this time and said it directly? Yes, I'm also an awakened. What's the use of guns? And recruiting others to join the gang. Isn't this just funny? Ask you again. Chen Mo said indifferently, did you really pick up the gun of the dead policeman? Or, are you responsible for the death of the policeman? Faced with this question, Lin Qingxin was speechless, his eyes dodged, and he didn't know how to answer. Chen Mo shouted, answer. Humph. Since you guessed it, why are you asking me? Being asked anxiously, Lin Qingxin became tough and directly retorted, it's the end of the world, does it matter? He's just a small policeman, he can't stand a single blow. Besides, he has a problem with his brain and doesn't know what's good for him. If he hadn't stopped us from entering the supermarket, I wouldn't have killed him. The strong prey on the weak. At this time, he still wants to protect those useless civilians. This kind of idiot deserves to die. Listening to Lin Qingxin's scolding, Chen Mo grinned and said, You are right, the strong prey on the weak. Quote, So now, I am strong and you are weak. Tell me, how do you want to die? Lin Qingxin was instantly terrified. No, you can't kill me. I am an awakener, I am very useful. I can surrender and help you in the future. As long as you promise not to kill me, you can ask me to do anything in the future. Chen Mo said impatiently, there is no need for this. Swish, with a flick of the finger. The ice arrow was fired. Directly penetrated the heart of Lin Qingxin, making him shut up completely. Then, the soul control skill was activated. Grab Lin Qingxin's confused soul and refine it on the spot. Ding, get AC level toxic mucus awakening soul. 
looking at the freshly made awakening origin. Chen Mo touched his chin and thought. So, who should I give this evolution to? To be honest, he himself looked down on this poisonous mucus. It's too ugly. It's not cool at all. I am an SSS level necromancer. Do I have to turn into a pool of venom to fight? That's too low level. Moreover, Chen Mo now has the two elemental powers of ice and fire, which are enough for fighting. If I get another poisonous mucus, there is a risk of biting off more than I can chew. If I want everything, it may be counterproductive in the end, which will lead to a messy battle rhythm and no improvement. Teacher Lin, do you want it? One more power, one more guarantee. Turning to look at Lin Shi, Chen Mo asked. I don't really want it. Lin Shi shook her head and said, it's better to try two rabbits and lose one rabbit. I'd rather focus on my holy light priest. Didn't we plan it yesterday? In the future, I will be mainly responsible for purification and providing aura buffs. If I get some venom now, I don't know how to develop in the future. Okay, her idea is the same as Chen Mo's. More is not necessarily better, specialization is the right way. Since teacher Lin doesn't want it, let's ask goddess Han. What about you? Do you want to absorb it? This ability is very powerful. Song Yu Han shook her head vigorously. Aha, uh -huh, no, no, I don't want this either. Too ugly. Turning myself into a pool of stinky black mucus makes me sick just thinking about it. Ice element control is good, very beautiful, I have enough with this. Of course, Brother Mo, if you can help me evolve again, it will be even better. Chen Mo sneered. Then wait. Your priority is not high enough. Oh, I don't want it, and Teacher Lin and Goddess Han don't want it either. Chen Mo was a little amused. Is our camp already so extravagant? It's a C-level awakening evolution after all. You all despise it so much. Forget it, let's give it to the undead servants. As long as it can improve the combat power. Bone Hunter, come here. Hey, hey, Lei Lei. The Bone Hunter, who had been eavesdropping for a long time, smiled and ran over to listen to the order, Master, please give me your orders. Wow, the masters and mistresses all disliked it. Then this awakening ability is not a bargain for me, the Bone Hunter. Everyone thinks it's ugly. It doesn't matter, I don't dislike it at all. Such a powerful ability, it's best to give it to me. Anyway, I'm not good looking now, so it doesn't matter if I'm a little ugly. Before, in the interior of Sam's club, the Bone Hunter also fought with Lin Qingxian. So, it fully understands the power of this toxic mucus ability. It's really powerful and flexible. Master Chocho, just absorb it for me. Seeing the eager face of the Bone Hunter, who couldn't hide his expectation at all, Chen Mo shook his head and smiled, Okay, okay, I'll give it to you. Anyway, you're not handsome now, so you can use this mucus to transform yourself, maybe you can become more handsome. After that, Chen Mo blessed the Bone Hunter. A moment later, the Bone Hunter ushered in another evolution. It was seen that its whole body was wrapped in black toxic mucus. The originally huge body gradually shrank. After a while, it became a normal body that was only slightly taller than an ordinary person. Moreover, all the bones disappeared. Now, it is replaced by muscle tissue formed by black mucus. The face, chest, abdomen, limbs, are all black. It looks like venom in a science fiction movie. Hum, this feels so good. Master, I feel like I've become much stronger. Besides, I can change my form at will. Saying this happily, the bone hunter expanded and shrank his body, changing his posture back and forth. Great, thank you master for your blessing, I really like this ability. He shot an eye of Hades at the excited bone hunter to check its current attribute details. Venom, Awakening Level B, Toxic Mucus, Strength 798, Agility 467, Constitution 699, Spirit 398, Talent 1, Toxic Mucus B, Control a kind of toxic mucus and change its form freely. Venom is highly toxic and corrosive. Skills 1. Venom Incarnation B. Your body is made entirely of toxic mucus. You can change your form freely, ignore the terrain and traverse at will. 2. Venom Spray B. Spray a large amount of venom from the mouth, instantly corroding and infecting the enemy. 3. Venom Prison B. Generate a venom prison to trap the enemy to death. 
Equipment 1. Venom Trident B originally formed by fish bones under the refining of soul fire, and then wrapped in venom, the quality is further improved. When attacking, the form can be changed freely, with multiple negative effects such as toxicity, deceleration, and corrosion. Combat Power Evaluation 143159 Wow, even the name has changed. From now on, there will be no more bone hunters. Let us welcome the new hero, Venom. Well, very good. It jumped from C level to B level in an instant, and the combat power increased by more than 100,000. This wave of improvement is definitely a qualitative change. In the future, I can finally let the Bone Hunter. No, I can let Venom lead the team alone and fight for me. After dealing with Lin Qingxian's soul, the sense of gain is quite good. Chen Mo continued and looked at the awakened corpse left by Lin Qingxian. This thing should also retain some properties of toxic mucus, right? And the four-dimensional properties of the awakened are not bad. Well, revive it directly and create another undead servant. Take out the soul essence collected and refined along the way. Chen Mo began to infuse it into Lin Qingxian's corpse. About a quarter of an hour later, the corpse revived. I saw that the dead Lin Qingxian bounced up from the ground. His body was as soft as rubber. He barely knelt down and greeted Chen Mo. Thank you for the gift, master. The undead slave Lin Qingxian serves you. Chen Mo smiled and said, can you, stand up and talk? How did you become a rubber man? Yes, master, Lin Qingxian replied softly. Then, he twisted his body and stood up from the ground. I'm sorry, my master. This, is, my limit. Chen Mo held his forehead and said helplessly, Okay, okay, then you should just lie down. What's going on? How come this revived Lin Qingxian seems to have no bones in his body and has become a rubber man? Ah, this sickly look. Is his combat power good enough? With a little doubt in his heart, Chen Mo played the eye of the underworld to check its attribute details. Hey, don't say. This look is really not weak. Lin Qingxian. Awakening level, C. Strength 235. Agility 304. Constitution 99. Spirit 128. Talent 1. Flexible body. C. Due to the venom corrosion after death, the body has no bones and becomes flexible. Relying on all fours to crawl on the ground. Skills 1. Death embrace. C. Quickly approach the enemy, hug the enemy with your flexible limbs, and then tie and squeeze the enemy to death. 2. Long tongue licking, C. Extend the tongue from the throat and quickly attack the enemy. The attack is toxic and corrosive. Equipment, none. Combat power evaluation, 70,046. After death, the bones of the body were corroded by the venom, so it became a rubber man. Well, no, no, the word rubber is not entirely correct. After all, he can't be stretched or shortened at will, but he is very flexible and can be twisted at will. Well, the flexible body explanation is more appropriate. However, the combat power is slightly improved compared to before, which is already very good. Lin Qingxian, who is not dead, has a combat power of 66,000 plus. Now it has reached 70,000. It's still quite satisfactory. While Chen Mo was dealing with Lin Qingxian, at the same time, in the Sam's Club, the remaining members of the Wild Wolf Gang were also secretly peeking below and discussing fiercely. Brother Bin, something terrible has happened. Brother Sean was killed by that student boy, he died miserably. Wait a minute, Brother Sean seems to have resurrected. Something is wrong. Brother Sean doesn't seem to be the same as before. What on earth are those people trying to do? Why haven't they come up yet? I'm dying of anxiety waiting for them. Listening to the chaotic reports from his younger brothers, the leader of the Wild Wolf Gang, Wang Bin, angrily yelled, Shut up! I told you to check the situation, but you can't even handle such a simple thing. Now, I only have one question. Is Lin Qingxian dead or alive? The younger brothers of the Wild Wolf Gang looked at each other and hesitated. Ah, probably, maybe. Should, maybe. Still alive. Wang Bin was so angry that he kicked the person who reported and cursed, get out of here. Follow me, tie up those civilians and make them hostages. If that kid dares to come up, kill them all. Chen Mo, let's go, it's time to go into the Sam's Club. Wild Wolf Gang, right. Remember that in the last life, you guys were really cruel. Venom, 
Lin Qingxin. Chen Mo pointed to the two new generals and said, You two follow me, let's go in and meet Wang Bin first. The rest of you, follow up. Yes, master. Swoosh. Just bend your legs and jump. Chen Mo and Venom relied on their strong physical fitness to jump into the room from the ground. As for Lin Qingxin, his way of entering was more special. This guy grabbed the floor with his limbs, and then stretched his body like a bow. Then, view, it flung itself out. Bang, the next second, it plunged directly into the supermarket. Hey, using your own body as a slingshot is interesting. Chen Mo said with a smile when he saw this. It's novel. The three of them entered the third floor first, moved quickly and searched. Soon, they found a member of the Wild Wolf Gang. Master, please look, that kid is a member of the Wild Wolf Gang. Lin Qingxin said. Following his reminder, Chen Mo turned his head and looked. Sure enough, a skinny young man stood in front, holding a steel knife and making a defensive posture. However, although he was holding a weapon, he did not show any murderous intent. On the contrary, he was obviously panicked. Big, big brother, who are you? Brother Qingxin, why are you lying on the ground? Are your bones soft? Chen Mo laughed jokingly. Ha ha, what's your name? Where is your boss Wang Bin? The stubby young man replied. My name is Wang Zuikai, our boss is. No, who are you? It was obviously me who asked your name first, you should answer me first. Do you know how to be polite? Yo, gang members are still polite. Chen Mo was too lazy to pay attention to him, and casually generated a few ice knives. Swish swish swish, instantly cut off the stubby young man's limbs. Ah, all his limbs were broken, and his body fell down. The stubby young man Wang Zuikai screamed like a ghost, ah. He hurriedly replied, upstairs. Brother Bin is upstairs, he, he said that he would take those civilians hostage. If you dare to rush up, kill all the civilians. Hearing this, Chen Mo nodded and smiled, look, wouldn't it be better to answer honestly earlier? Why suffer this? Forget it, thank you for telling me. Who told me that I am a polite and good young man, different from you gang thugs? After saying thank you with a smile, Chen Mo flicked his fingers and shot an ice arrow. Puff, well, Xiao Wang died quickly and comfortably. It really didn't hurt at all. Continue to lead Venom and Lin Qingxin upstairs. Chen Mo wondered, what about civilians and hostages? What does Wang Bin from the Wild Wolf Gang want to do? Ah, could it be that, he thinks I'm a good person. So, he wants to use those civilian survivors as hostages to threaten me. Please, it's not that outrageous, right? Are all gang members so brainless? On the fourth floor of Sam's club. As soon as Chen Mo arrived, he saw the leader of the Wild Wolf Gang, Wang Bin. Stop. Seeing Chen Mo going upstairs, Wang Bin, who had been nervous for a long time, immediately shouted. Hey, I told you to stop. Don't come over here again. Otherwise, I'll kill this woman right away. He pointed a pistol snatched from a police officer at a female hostage. Wang Bin's face was hideous, and he was afraid and angry. I've already told you not to come over here again. Are you deaf? Indeed, Chen Mo is acting like a deaf person now. Facing Wang Bin's shouting and threats, he was completely indifferent. He just put his hands in his pockets and walked forward leisurely, his pace was neither fast nor slow. There was still a smile on his face, as if he was not afraid at all. He only waited until he was five steps away from Wang Bin and the female hostage. Chen Mo stopped leisurely and asked with a smile, Wang Bin, right. I have a curiosity, I hope you can answer it for me. Wang Bin looked panicked. What, what curiosity? My curiosity is, why do you think that taking these civilians as hostages can stop me? I really can't understand this. Chen Mo smiled and shook his head and asked. This, Wang Bin was also stunned. That's right. The young man in front of him is not a police officer. He has no responsibility or obligation to rescue the hostages. So, so they died because of you after all. Wang Bin said angrily. I'll say it again, if you dare to move forward, I will kill this woman. And those people behind me, all have to die. And you, you have to be responsible for their death, you killed them. Chen Mo shook his head and said. No, 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 I have to correct it here. It's not me who killed them, it's you. After all, I didn't touch them from beginning to end. 
Hearing this, Wang Bin was stunned on the spot. No, how can you be so cold-blooded? So many hostages, do you really not care at all? They died because of you, don't you feel bad about it? Chen Mo, sorry, it really doesn't hurt at all. All right, all right, it's boring. You should just die. Raised his hand and flicked his fingers. View, a crisp explosion sounded. Wang Bin's head exploded instantly. It was too fast. No one could see what happened at all. Perhaps, it can only be seen when the camera is slowed down a hundred times. It was an ice needle. Chen Mo flicked his fingers and instantly killed the enemy. The headless Wang Bin fell. The remaining wild wolf gang brothers were completely frightened. Some wanted to escape, some knelt down and shouted to surrender, and some resisted and shouted. For these people, Chen Mo gave them the same high standard death method. Biu, Biu Biu, flicked his fingers continuously to trigger the ice needle. A moment later, all the members of the wild wolf gang were annihilated. Everything was quiet. With a wave of his hand, he collected and refined the soul. Chen Mo turned and left. Sam's club, the main target, entered the cleanup process. Chen Mo's attack to the west today was basically completed. Summoning Lin Shi, he asked, how is the situation in the east? We have been in contact, and it is going well so far. Lin Shi reported, with the undead devourer leading the team, there are basically no obstacles. Just now, they have begun to clean up the sports college. Chen Mo nodded, well, that's good. Since there is still a lot of time, let's make the rest of the arrangements freely, and expand the cleaning in the north and south directions. The main goal is supplies, the more the better. Lin Shi nodded, okay. Use the Sam's club at your feet as the starting point. Continue to expand the cleaning range. About two hours later, a new special situation appeared. Report to the master, we found an awakened body in a residential area in the north. Venom reported. Chen Mo looked normal and asked for details, what is it? Venom, a dog, but it's not an ordinary dog. It's very huge, even bigger than an elephant. And there's more than one dog. According to our Skeleton Warriors investigation report, there is a child sitting on the back of the big dog. He is about 10 years old and his origin is unknown. A child riding a dog. Chen Mo asked in confusion, is he also an awakener? It's not clear yet. Venom shook his head and said, our people can't get close to the mutant big dog, so, we can't sense the specific situation of the child. Chen Mo nodded and said, okay, I know, I'll lead the team to take a look. Call Lin Shi and Song Yuhan. Bring the two high-end magic forces, the undead mystic and the headless juggler. Oh yes, and the new rubber man Lin Qingshan. Chen Mo and his team moved to the residential area where the mutant dog was. As soon as they arrived, Chen Mo and others saw the mutant dog. Ow, ow Wu. The roars shook the sky, like a wolf howling. The mutant dog was resisting left and right under the siege of the skeleton warriors. It was huge and powerful. But the skeleton warriors were numerous and had skillful tactical coordination. For a while, the two sides were deadlocked and no one could do anything to the other. Looking at the mutant dog that was several stories high, Song Yuhan exclaimed, Tisk tisk, it's hard to imagine. Is this actually an ordinary pet dog that has been mutated? It's really big. Lin Shi touched his chin and thought, look at the color of the hair. It seems that the original body is a golden retriever. It was originally considered it as a medium to large dog breed. It is understandable that it becomes larger after mutation. But it is still inferior to the undead giant bear. I guess its fighting power is not as good as that of the big brown bear. Hearing this, Chen Mo smiled and said, he he, let the undead giant bear fight this mutant big dog to see who is stronger. Go, go to the back and call the undead giant bear to come quickly. There is an opponent here. Venom. Yes, master. Go and call it now. Quote, first, let the skeleton warriors in front stabilize and don't let the mutant dog escape. While waiting for the undead giant bear, Chen Mo tilted his head and observed carefully. Sure enough, it was just as Venom had reported before. Behind the mutant dog, there was a little boy riding. Because he had been lying down, he was blocked by the thick hair of the big dog and couldn't see the figure clearly. Shoot an eye of Hades at the little boy to check the details. Chen Mo confirmed it. This is just an ordinary human, and he has not awakened. This makes people more curious. 
How did this weird combination come about? Lin Shi guessed. If you ask me, I guess the little boy's family raised this dog, right? After the mutation, the big dog retained his sanity, so he decided to protect his little master. Song Yuhan nodded in agreement. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what teacher Lin analyzed. Dogs are the representatives of loyalty. Even if they mutate, they will be loyal to their masters. Quote. Chen Mo smiled and said, it is possible, but it cannot be generalized. Most of the mutated beasts are extremely brutal and irrational. In that case, let alone being loyal to their master. I'm afraid that the first thing they will eat is their master's family. However, this one may be a special one. I still tend to agree with Mr. Lin's speculation. In short, this mutant dog must have some special relationship with the little boy on its back. Da Huang, bite them to death. Stinky skeleton, stinky skeleton. I'm going to kill you all. Riding on the back of the mutant dog, the little boy kept shouting and cursing. But this was just impotent rage. Because, no matter how he shouted, Da Huang under his seat could not break through the encirclement. Under the tactical siege of the skeleton warriors, the mutant dog was in a dilemma. He wanted to move but couldn't, and his attack was also very weak. It was really frustrating. Eye of Hades, mutated vicious dog. Level, C+. Strength, 788. Agility, 425. Physique, 650. Spirit, 128. Talent, 1. Wild Rhythm, C. The mutant vicious dog reverted to its ancestral form and activated the hunting instinct of the beast. Skills, 1. Canine Bite, C. The mutant vicious dog opened its mouth and bit the enemy. 2. Flying Dog, C. The mutant vicious dog flies towards the enemy and bites the enemy's neck at the same time, causing a fatal attack. Equipment, none. Combat Power Evaluation, 73,000. Not bad. After reading the mutant vicious dog's attribute details, Chen Mo made a brief evaluation. However, it is still far inferior to the undead giant bear. If it weren't for watching a fierce beast fight, Venom would have been able to take it down easily. As for now, let's catch that brat first. Otherwise, when the battle starts later, the mutant big dog may not be able to move freely. Shadow Step, start. With a light shout, Chen Mo activated the agility skill. Immediately, he jumped down from the back of the fear horse under him. Whoosh, turned into a black afterimage. In a breath, he rushed to the mutant big dog. Whoosh, another sharp turn and rise. Chen Mo jumped onto the back of the mutant dog. Here you go. He grabbed the little boy by the collar and lifted him up. The next moment, he quickly returned to the back of the fear horse in the form of an afterimage. Hey, hey, hey. What's going on? What's going on? In a flash, he was caught in someone's hand. The little boy was terrified and kept shouting. Put me down. Put me down quickly. Don't grab my neck. It hurts. Okay. Since you want to get down, I'll let you down. He fell with a thump. Chen Mo let go and let the shouting little boy fall to the ground. Ouch my butt. It hurts. It hurts so much. Feeling that all the bones in his body were broken, the little boy looked at Chen Mo with tears in his eyes and cursed fiercely. Who the hell are you? How dare you catch me? Do you believe that I will let Da Huang bite you to death? Hey, how dare you be so arrogant? Chen Mo sneered. Your dog can't save itself, I'm afraid there is no chance to save you. Be better off being honest. You are so young, and your mouth is so foul. I don't know how your family taught you. You, the little boy was still arrogant and yelled, who cares? Get these skeletons out of here. Otherwise, my Da Huang will smash them all. Ha, huh, your life has fallen into my hands, and you still dare to yell. You are really brainless, right? Chen Mo was annoyed, so he pulled out a frost whip and whipped the kid directly. If the parents don't teach, then let me, let the society teach. The kid deserves to be beaten. Crack, crack. He whipped the kid hard with the frost chain. The kid screamed and screamed, but he didn't dare to curse anymore. Stop, stop, stop first. I told you to stop first. Wow, adults bully little people, you have no shame. Although he didn't curse directly. But the kid was still arrogant, with no attitude of admitting his mistakes and giving in. For a while, even a gentle elder sister like Lin Shi looked disgusted and asked dissatisfiedly, where are your parents? How do you usually manage you? You are really uneducated. The kid looked at Lin Shi, 
curled his lips and snorted, who cares? Gossip, I give up. You always scold people when you see them, are you mentally retarded? Song Yuhan was also enraged, gritted her teeth and pulled out a frost whip thorn, joining in the whipping. What kind of naughty child is this? He is so mean. If you don't give him a good beating, he will never learn. This naughty and naughty child in front of her reminded her of her own relative's child. He also didn't listen, and cursed and yelled. But he was her own relative, and it was hard to discipline him. Now it's all right. A strange naughty child came, then you have to seize the opportunity to beat him up and vent all the resentment that you haven't been able to beat him up in the past. Crack, crack, crack. Are you going to curse or not? Bad kid, where are your parents? Call them out. I want to ask, how did you teach them? You are so young, but you are so mean. The bad kid wailed and answered, dead. They are all dead. As soon as he said this, Song Yuhan stopped and couldn't beat him anymore. Oh, so he was also an innocent child who suffered from the disaster. Then, I'll forgive you for the time being. Okay, okay, I won't beat you for your pity. Song Yuhan put away the frost whip and said in a gentle tone, don't curse anymore in the future, understand. The little boy looked at him with resentment, shook his head and snorted, HMPH, another gossipy fool. I don't need you to care about me. He was even more hateful and kept cursing in his heart. You adults all deserve to die. Just wait. When I run away, I'll let Da Huang bite you all to death. Chen Mo saw that the naughty kid had a strange look in his eyes and said coldly, What? Are you still not convinced? You don't really think we pity you. Just kidding. It's the end of the world after the catastrophe. No matter if you are a man or a woman, old or young, just kill them. If you have resentment in your heart, that's a hidden danger. If you don't get rid of the roots, they will grow again in the spring breeze. Let me ask you, what's the matter with this mutant dog? Also, how did your family die? Logically speaking, the mutant dog is still sane and recognized the little master. Shouldn't he have failed to save the real master who tamed him? As for the whole family turning into zombies when the catastrophe comes, the probability of this is actually not that high. So, did the naughty kid's family really die? Chen Mo still has doubts about this. If the adults are still here, they must be found and held responsible together with the naughty kid. My Da Huang has evolved. The naughty kid said angrily. I tell you, don't be too arrogant too early. Wait until he kills all those stinky skeletons. I'll kill you right away. Just like killing my parents and grandma. First bite your neck, then tear your head off in one bite. Crunch, eat them all. Eat, eat, eat. While speaking viciously, the naughty kid gestured with his hands and feet. His face was full of resentment and anger without any concealment. Hearing him say this, Chen Mo and the other two were surprised. The parents and family of the naughty kid were actually killed by the mutant dog. This is not reasonable. Confused, Chen Mo asked again, since the mutant dog listens to you, why would it kill your parents? Faced with such a simple question, unexpectedly, the little boy's answer was earth-shattering. Idiot, of course I asked Da Huang to bite them to death. Of course I told Da Huang to bite them to death. The kid said something shocking. Chen Mo was stunned. Song Yuhan and Lin Shi were stunned on the spot. You, what did you say? The kid didn't care, rolled his eyes, and repeated, Don't you understand what I said? You are such a bunch of idiots. I said, I told Da Huang to bite my parents to death and my grandma and classmates, I told Da Huang to bite them to death and eat them. Did you understand? A bunch of idiots. Shocking. How did he say such devilish words without blushing? The parents and grandma who gave birth to him were killed and eaten by the mutant vicious dogs commanded by your grandson. It's totally inhumane. Are you still human? At this moment, Chen Mo frowned deeply, swung out a long frost whip, rolled up the neck of the kid in front of him, and lifted it high into the air. I want to know why. The kid kicked randomly and yelled, put me down. You fool, put me down quickly. Why the hell, what do you want to ask? Chen Mo, aren't you your parents' biological child? Yes, the kid snorted angrily, then what? None of your business. So you have a grudge against them? Chen Mo continued to ask, digging deeper into the analysis. Oh, no hatred, no hatred. The naughty child said impatiently. My dad doesn't let me go out to play, 
I'm annoyed with him, so I let Da Huang bite him to death. And my mom, she doesn't give me money to charge the game, and always makes me do homework. My grandma, she doesn't let me use my face to play the game, and the food she cooks is unpalatable. They deserve to die. Oh, yes, and those classmates, I've been annoyed with them for a long time. In the past, the teacher was in charge, and I was never allowed to bully them. Now it's all right. I'll let Da Huang bite the teacher to death first, and then bite those classmates to death. He he he, am I smart? At this moment, everyone was silent. Song Yuhan and Lin Shi frowned deeply, still immersed in the playful and terrifying statement of the naughty child. They really couldn't understand. What's the psychological condition of this naughty child? Murder. Is it that simple? What's more, the person he killed was his own relative. How does he think? Does he really have no empathy at all? To be honest, Chen Mo had never seen the situation of this naughty kid in his previous life. It is true that under the pressure of the survival crisis of the end of the world, it is not uncommon for a family to have conflicts over survival resources. However, it is only the third day of the outbreak of the end of the world. It is far from the end of the road. Ha ha, the only explanation is, you, a naughty kid, are a born bad seed. Antisocial personality, no empathy, and maybe a little bit of super male syndrome. It is better to get rid of an outrageous thing like you as soon as possible. After saying that, Chen Mo tightened the frost chain and directly ended the life of the naughty kid in front of him. This time, even the soul was not taken. A fire burned everything. After dealing with the naughty kid, Chen Mo looked back at the two confused girls and said calmly, don't think too much. There are all kinds of people in this world. It's just that when the end of the world comes, the constraints of morality and law are invalid, and the perverts are exposed to the sun. Song Yuhan smacked her lips and shook her head. It's hard to understand, very shocking. I really can't imagine how such a naughty kid was raised. Lin Shi sighed lightly. Alas, if you can't figure it out, don't think about it, it will only add to your troubles. It's still Mozi who said it. There is nothing new under the sun, it's just that we haven't seen it before. As for ourselves, then we can only do good things and don't ask about the future. Do what we should do. Express some emotion a little. There is not much time to think deeply. The undead giant bear rushed to the battlefield. Dwang. Dwang. A huge vibration sounded. A super large brown bear like a mountain ran towards it. As the undead giant bear ran, the floor was smashed by the bear's paw with great force. This guy's power is really terrifying. Huff huff rushed to Chen Mo, and the undead giant bear braked and stopped. Excited and manic, he said, Master, I heard there is dog meat to eat. Chen Mo, ha, huh, what the hell, I just asked you to compete with the mutant dog. How come you are almost eating dog meat here? Shaking his head and sneering, Chen Mo was too lazy to say more, and pointed his finger, Go, play with that mutant dog, let me see your fighting power. Ow 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 roared wildly, the undead giant bear was full of passion, okay, master. After saying that, it turned around and rushed to the battlefield. Eat dog meat, eat dog meat. No matter who is friend or foe, it knocked away the skeleton warrior. Charged quickly, and slapped out with a bear paw. Slapped the mutant dog's head. Bang, a crackling sound was heard. The mutant dog's head was tilted and deformed directly. What's going on? How come a big bear suddenly appeared in a good human city? Are you crazy? Did I, Da Huang, provoke you? Eat dog meat, eat dog meat. Quote. Take advantage of the mutant dog being stunned by the heavy blow. The undead giant bear continues to attack. Standing up, showing the giant bear's intimidation. Then, the bear's paw clamped. Bang. The dog's head was directly squeezed and exploded. Ah, before dying. Da Huang only let out a shrill whimper. Tisk tisk tisk, that was really miserable. After watching such a big and exciting battle, Song Yuhan opened her mouth and was stunned. This, this, this. Is this reasonable? Quote, Lin Shi was also quite frightened, and said with a look of astonishment, although I know that the battle of wild beasts is very fast and there is no drag. But, aren't you too fast? Quote, I only used two moves in less than ten seconds. How could a mutant dog of my size be killed by you with a headshot? This is really, it's so scary. Slap the mutant dog to death. The undead giant bear couldn't resist its appetite and started to eat the corpse. 
After all, it's a wild beast. It's understandable that it likes to eat snacks. Hey, hey, don't eat it. Seeing this, Song Yuhan hurriedly stopped him. The corpse is damaged, there is no way to revive the undead. Chen Mo stretched out his hand and said, let it go. The undead giant bear has a talent for flesh and blood devouring. Eating mutant beasts is also an important way for it to evolve. Besides, I haven't planned to open a zoo yet. At the moment, I'm riding a horse, and the base of the University of Science and Technology guesthouse also has a black crane. Oh yes, there are also phantom cat demons and undead giant bears. There are really many animals. So, it doesn't matter if there is one less dog. But I still have to take the soul. With a wave of his hand, he took the soul of the mutant vicious dog. Chen Mo refined it, just wanted to collect it and keep it as a reserve resource. A flattering cat cry sounded. Meow, the phantom cat demon appeared out of nowhere. It came to the feet of its master with a swift cat step. It leaned down and rubbed its head against the master's trouser legs, and kept, meow meow meow. Song Yuhan was puzzled. What does this, mean? Cat's cat is angry. Why is it so flattering? Lin Shi chuckled and said, Aha, I guessed it. This cat wants the soul in Chen Mo's hand. The phantom cat demon nodded repeatedly. No poking, no poking. What this cat wants is the origin of the soul. Meow meow wants to evolve. Okay, then use it for you. Chen Mo shook his head and sneered, and blessed the phantom cat demon casually. After all, you are the first one to follow me, and you have made contributions and hard work. Besides, your current combat power is indeed not good enough. The blessing ended. Check out the attributes of the Phantom Cat Demon. Phantom Cat Demon, Thunder. Level, C+. Strength, 566. Agility, 759. Constitution, 324. Spirit, 205. Talents, 1. Wild Rhythm, Thunder, C+, Cats are born hunters, with agile movements, good at ambushing and chasing. Enhanced by the power of thunder and lightning, the effect is doubled on rainy days and nights. Skills 1. Flying and biting, thunder, C+, the phantom cat demon nimbly pounces on the enemy, uses fangs to bite, and pierces the enemy's neck. The attack comes with the power of thunder and lightning, which can paralyze the enemy. 2. Claw slash, thunder, C+, the phantom cat demon swings its front claws to tear the enemy. The attack comes with toxicity and thunder paralysis. Equipment none. Combat power evaluation 101370. Woohoo! What a great evolution. The original Phantom Cat Demon was only D plus level, with a combat power of just over 10,000. Now it has reached C plus level in one go, and its combat power has increased tenfold. It is considered elite. Meow, meow. Feeling the powerful body after evolution. The phantom cat demon was very happy and kept rubbing Chen Mo's trouser legs with his head. Good master, if there are such good things in the future, don't forget me. Chen Mo gently kicked the flattering cat away with his legs, and scolded with a smile, get out, go play by yourself. This time the soul was shot down by the undead giant bear, which is a bargain for you. If you want to evolve again, go hunt by yourself. At present, the phantom cat demon also has a combat power of 10 W plus and can stand alone. Chen Mo immediately arranged a team of skeleton warriors to accompany the cats to hunt freely. Clean more and do more meritorious service. If you want to eat cat canned food, exchange it with your soul. If you want to be blessed, exchange it with your soul. The eastern front is pacified and everything goes well. It's just lunch time. Chen Mo and others found a former luxurious restaurant and started to eat lunch. As for the chef, the big-headed executive chef of the University of Science and Technology guesthouse brought him along. You can cook at any time. Guaranteed freshness and timeliness, all dishes are steaming hot and the most delicious. Eat happily. Chen Mo looked at his watch. Oh, it's almost two o'clock in the afternoon. If we want to develop eastward, we don't have enough personnel and transportation support, so it's not very meaningful. It just so happens that we have cleared tens of thousands of zombies along the way today, and the souls have been refined and stored but not used yet. Take advantage of the time after the meal to digest the food and have a concentrated wave of undead resurrection and combat power evolution. As soon as Chen Mo finished his plan, Lin Shi took the initiative to say, 
Clean up along the way, I have asked the skeleton warriors to collect intact and strong corpses in advance. Just waiting for you to do this now. Let's go to the corpse collection point, you just need to revive in one breath. Hearing this, Chen Mo smiled and said, Hey, that's good. I didn't think of it in advance, Teacher Lin, you planned it. Organized, save time. With this, under the leadership of Lin Shi, Chen Mo came to the centralized storage point for corpses. At a glance, the collected corpses were basically intact and strong enough. As for the number, at least 10,000. They formed several small hills, and the scene was really shocking. Song Yuhan looked at the small hills of corpses piled up in such a concentrated manner, frowned and said in amazement, it's really a bit scary. Too many at once, it's like, not corpses, just a bunch of waste and toys. Alas, to be honest, these corpses might have been living people yesterday and the day before yesterday. Who would have thought that now they are all unable to move? Who would have thought that the disaster came so quickly? Only two or three days have passed, and the entire blue star has been completely changed. Chen Mo, as the commemoration over, I'm going to start the resurrection of the dead. Song Yuhan nodded quickly. Oh, please, please. Women always like to be sentimental. This is both an advantage and a weakness. Big hands waved. Groups of soul origins fell. In an instant, 10,000 corpses stood up again. They shook their arms and shook their heads. It seemed that they were readapting to the second rebirth of the skeletons. When all the resuscitation procedures were over, 10,000 skeleton warriors raised their heads in unison, looked at the Supreme Master. They greeted in unison. Thank you for the Master's blessing, and I am willing to dedicate myself to the Master. The roar of 10,000 skeleton warriors was heard, and the momentum was huge. Looking down from a high place, Song Yuhan and Lin Shi were both very shocked. This grand scene was just like a military parade. It was so inspiring. So, is this the concrete manifestation of power? Chen Mo looked down at the skeleton formation and laughed heartily. Good, you are all my powerful warriors. From now on, I will trouble you to fight for me and expand my territory. The skeleton warriors responded in unison, serve the master. Well, I like this response. This feeling is great. Reviving 10,000 skeleton warriors is a very satisfying harvest. However, Chen Mo's operation has not stopped. In addition to reviving this batch of ordinary F-class skeleton warriors, he also needs to focus on upgrading and create a batch of more powerful E-class and D-class elite skeleton warriors. Finally, after more than half an hour of screening and soul infusion, the soul source collected for most of the day was consumed. In total, Chen Mo has obtained another 1,000 E-class elite skeleton warriors and 100 D-class skeleton team leaders. Okay, all done. Looking at the mighty skeleton army, Chen Mo was very happy. These are all his powerful fighting forces. Immediately, he sent an order to arrange squadron cleaning, sweep the surrounding streets, communities, and office buildings. Collect more strong corpses and souls. Yes, willing to dedicate to the master. Tens of thousands of skeleton warriors responded in unison, shouting loudly. Binhai Sports College. This is the eastern battlefield set by Chen Mo. At this moment, the undead devourer is leading the team to enter the sports college. However, after entering this area, it encountered some special zombies. They were a group of special zombies that were covered with rocks and looked very defensive. Crack. One hand grabbed the rock zombie in front of him. A trace of doubt flashed in the eyes of the undead devourer, so weak. This is really a bit strange. Obviously they are just ordinary zombies, why are there a layer of rock armor on the surface of their bodies? Originally, when the undead devourer saw this group of rock zombies for the first time, he thought that this was a group of advanced zombies that had evolved intensively, and their combat effectiveness should be very good. However, just now, he pinched these rock zombies to death. This is obviously not the physical strength that special evolved zombies should have. Therefore, the undead devourer was a little confused at this time. How did the rock armor on the surface of the zombies in front of me come from? Hey, die, you monsters, all die. Just when the undead devourer was puzzled. Not far away, a ding ling dang clang, chopping and collision sounded. At the same time, there were also angry shouts from women. Looking up. 
The undead devourer saw that a female human holding a long knife was madly chopping zombies. Her figure was very agile. She jumped and moved among the zombies, leaving a trail of afterimages, and her face could not be seen clearly. Wherever she went, the knife flashed, and zombies fell in groups. Those zombies with rock armor on their bodies could not stop the long knife from chopping. They were as fragile as paper people. Human Evolver. Awesome. Watching the gorgeous slaughter performance of this female swordsman. The pupils of the undead devourer suddenly shrank, and he was horrified. The key is the knife in her hand. It's too sharp, and it's very intimidating. If I get chopped, my limbs will definitely be torn apart on the spot. Where did this female human come from? With a cautious look, the undead devourer commanded his skeleton warriors to surround her. Go, go and take a look. Surround that human woman and try to attack. It's better to deal with such an enemy as soon as possible. And, if you can seize that peerless longsword and dedicate it to the master. It will definitely be a great achievement. The skeleton warriors joined the battlefield. The encirclement gradually shrank. Being in the zombie group, Gong Yu immediately found something wrong. Two swift slashes of the knife split a piece of open space. She frowned, her eyes were serious, what's going on? Where did a group of skeletons suddenly appear? Are they different kinds of zombies? Take a closer look. No, no, these skeletons also kill zombies, they are not in the same group. Besides, they all hold sabers, just like special forces, so awesome. Where did they come from? Could it be, another trick by Ma Jian? Hiss, it shouldn't be. Gong Yu frowned, her face full of doubts and worries, and quickly analyzed, Ma Jian only has the ability of rock and soil. It has nothing to do with these skeletons. Thinking all the way. Gong Yu really couldn't figure it out. Simply, she didn't bother with it. With a cold snort, she made up her mind, whether it's zombies or skeletons, they are not human beings. If they are not of my kind and invade Blue Star, they are all enemies. All can be killed. With a firm belief, Gong Yu tightly grasped the family heirloom Tang sword in her hand. Kill. The spring leg burst out, and the whole person turned into a shadow. She shuttled between the zombie frenzy and the skeleton army. Click, click, click. The Tang sword chopped left and right. Cut off all the enemies it touched. All were killed in one blow, without any delay. At this moment, a silent death zone formed around Gong Yu. Zombies left behind broken limbs and arms, and skeleton warriors left behind bones. Devastated, full of chaos, but there is also a kind of cruel beauty. Just as Gong Yu was killing happily, the undead devourer who had been eyeing her for a long time came out from the side. Die, bang, a huge punch was thrown. The explosion was like a bomb. At the critical moment, Gong Yu's body secreted a large amount of adrenaline, forcing her to resist. Block with a knife. Puff. Gong Yu flew backwards, spitting out a lot of blood. The undead devourer's punch was so powerful that it was really powerful. However, this is not over yet. Seizing the opportunity to pursue the victory, the undead devourer's muscle swelled and pulled the speed to the maximum. The whole body was ejected, bursting the air. Another punch hit. Dwang. The earth shook, and the concrete bricks and stones exploded into powder. Countless pieces of blood and flesh flew. Unfortunately, it didn't hit the real target. The human woman didn't know how she did it, and teleported at the last moment, barely avoiding the fatal attack. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.